Andrew, can you believe it's been a week since the last recording? Nope. Feels like longer. Feels like the first time. Feels, feels like, like the, the first, time. first time. Nothing feels like the first time. I wouldn't know. <laughs> because it's been so long or because you're still waiting on it? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Asked and answered. Have I, have I, have I answered your, correct, your questions Absolutely. in a manner? I appreciate it. You uh, never not disappointing. Yep. Wait. Never, never not disappointing. So you're, I'm always you're, disappointing. You're ne- never, you're never not bad. So you're positive. So, so yes, you're bad. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, <laughs> that's correct. Nonfiction. I'm Drew. That's Scott. Yeah. At Sarah and Sawpaws. Hello. At not Scott Henson. That's correct. Where does the money go? I'll tell you where the money. I'm. Here's how sure I am. <laughs> That last week. Are you HIV positive? I am HIV positive about this. That last week, I said, I've got a story so good that if one of you, and only one of you, not a bunch of you, don't get all excited, <laughs> send me $50 to paypal.me slash not Scott Henson. Don't touch the cat. <laughs> I will open this episode with the story. And I am so confident hmm. yeah the cat's gonna do that sometimes <laughs> leave him be right now this is the opportune moment to do that this to is do what he's doing this is the time for that in front of god <laughs> in front of god and all of us i'm so confident that somebody sent that 50 dollars that i'm not i haven't checked my paypal for a week i'm not even going to check it now i'm just going to assume that someone did the right thing but if you guys want to be safe and you're worried for me and for Drew and for everyone that someone maybe I, I can't imagine you people would do this, but uh, maybe on the off chance someone didn't do the right thing and there's nothing there. And when I go to my PayPal, I'm going to be heartbroken. Then you can still it's not too it's never too late to do the right thing and send fifty dollars to PayPal.me slash not Scott Hansen. The link is in the YouTube description. So you don't need to figure out how to spell it in case you can't, but it's not that hard. Anyway, it's in the YouTube descriptions right there. There's an option for if you have PayPal, there's an option for if you don't have a PayPal account, you can just do it with a debit or credit card. Super easy. Do it. Do the right thing. Because now here's the story. I went to high school with a gentleman whose name I'm going to try super hard not to say. Over the course of this story, but I make absolutely no promises. Do I need a pseudonym? Because it's going to get away from me. Uh, no, because the first pseudonym I think of is going to be the actual name that he changed his name to. <laughs> <laughs> so there's no winning this. I'm just going to try my best. Scott went to high school with Chris Chan. <laughs> I would say someone... Uh, someone with as much weird stuff going on as Chris Chan, certainly not as well documented or trolled as Chris Chan, because nobody is, because Chris Chan is the most documented and trolled human being in the history of the internet. Oh, you're just going to lick your ass and go, Seb, is that your deal? Pardon me, I have to let the cat out. Drew Vamp. Vamp, 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 vamp. Uh, I did not go to high school with anybody super weird. You didn't go to high school, but- I went to an all-girls Catholic school once. I better be picking it up. There. That was a good one. He wanted out. Hopefully we got some on-mic purrs out of that. I should have talked over it and ruined it for everybody. You fucker. Um... Where, what was your story? What, you, oh, nothing. Oh, you didn't go to you didn't go to school with anyone weird. Nope. Was that your story? I just went to school with Kelly, Lily, and Summers. Not weird. Not weird. Okay, so I went to high school with a guy. He uh, he was always among the uh, among the very top, the e- easily top five percent. Sometimes straight up top when it wasn't me, but it was usually me. Uh, academically, very very smart guy. Or, I don't know, smart might not be the right word, <laughs> judging by later actions, but uh, definitely uh, very excellent academically. I believe he had one 
Christian of some sort parent and one Jewish parent. And he, I don't, I don't know if either was, I don't think either was like a really religious person. That was just like each parent's background. And he decided to, he decided to go Jewish. So he identified and identified is going to be a, uh, an important part of the story as we progress. He identified as Jewish and, um, I, I don't know like how practicing he was, but he, he said like, he has all these weird, like idiosyncrasies. Like he, I didn't even know it was really a Jewish thing. Like you can't, you, you can't say God's name. Like you can't say Jehovah. Is that a thing? I, this is news to me. Yeah. So like we, cause, and cause we were, you know, asshole high schoolers were like, Hey, your name, <laughs> say Jehovah. And he's like, no. And, and then, you know, people keep bugging him and try to make him say it or trick him into say it. And then like to appease people, he'd like, he'd say it wrong. He'd say like Javoha there, <laughs> but like, wouldn't do it. And anyway, uh-huh. just like weird shit like that. And he was always like, always b- before any of the later nonsense, always a very weird guy did, did not make friends easily or at all question mark um but yeah and that's how it went and then he uh he got into i believe harvard and uh and had it. and went to uh went to have it and i'm just gonna say I'd, I'd like to get his uh academics correct let's see if he's still on Facebook or if he's just kind of call, called it a day. Um, not so, that might be hard to figure out when the things are going on. That's that's disappointing because like he had a run <laughs> on uh, on Facebook that was truly unparalleled. Um but I appears to not have a profile anymore. Anyway, so I'll have to piece it together as best I can. So went to Harvard. I don't know. I feel like he was initially in. I don't think it was sciences per se, but I th- maybe psychology or something. But at some point switched to theology. And so was getting like more religious it's that weird thing that kids do he was actually ahead of the curve in the uh rebelling against your parents by being more religious than them move which is always a funny one yeah i like that one a lot um so did that got it got his bachelor's i think and then somewheres in there had a Full ass nervous breakdown. Okay, was institutionalized. Uh, spent a decent amount of time institutionalized. Was de-institutionalized, and somewhere along the lines, uh, found himself more. And at this point, I will stop saying himself because that's when it stopped being himself and uh, started being herself um began, more power to you more power to you began identifying as an uh mtf trans woman uh grew grew hair out wore more traditionally female clothing uh may, may i ask a question i insist uh when when they transitioned yeah did they just take their original name their dead name Mm -hmm. and just make it the female version no oh full new okay unrelated female name okay yeah i'm listening that's a good question though i don't know which i like more i i think it's i i think it's fun to do it with a name that absolutely doesn't lend itself to a female version. Scotta. Like Scott. <laughs> Scotta. Scotta Henson. It's tough. I'll tell you what I don't like. I'll tell you what I don't like when we do our first movie. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I think I made a note about it. But uh, yeah. So yeah. Uh, tra- trans woman. Uh, f- female presenting. Woman's name, top surgery, bottom surgery. 
Done. Tits on, dick and balls off. Yeah. I'm a woman now. No fucking around. No, NFA. Not to be confused with no furries allowed, which, yeah. which comes up all too often <laughs> in our lives. <laughs> um, so. People are mean. People are mean, but, but not me because I'm telling a very tasteful story uh, and keeping most of my opinions to myself. Uh, it was at that point that she couldn't leave well enough alone. <laughs> <laughs> and we went from trans woman to one of the people inhabiting her is a trans woman. One is a straight man. Mm -hmm. One is a gay man. One's a non-binary still working stuff out. And one's a dragon. One's <laughs> or, a raccoon. <laughs> or something. Yeah. So began identifying and posting as a plural system. Mm. Uh there this is very much a they at this point i suppose <laughs> or an it they or maybe an it could be stephen king's it i i am because in it i am less scared of uh pennywise than whatever this became mm -hmm. <laughs> i can understand right a murderous clown that lives on fear better yep. than what ended up going on here um so, yeah, and around the plural system point just went on a tear on Facebook. Just uh, m multiple, multiple, multiple posts every single day. And luckily, that's the only multiple per day poster we'll be talking about on this podcast. <laughs> Uh, just, I wish I could remember the content of the post a little better. I remember religion wise, uh, Judaism was out, um, and probably whatever they, uh, got their theology degree and also out, uh, super, super new age, like Kabbalah, K Kabbalah yoga nonsense times a million. Wow. Yeah. And like Hezbollah, uh, lot, uh, it involved lots of uh, every. It, it involved lots of gurus. Okay. Yeah, it, it was all gurus. <laughs> so like, e Eastern, East Eastern non Chinese non Hindu stuff. I guess I guess some some there was some Buddhism involved, but also like more like much wackier New Agey stuff. Right. And that that's where we were. Um, religion wise and as the uh just like manic plural system posting continued uh friends acquaintances co-workers from uh from early earlier in their life or currently in their life were like hey uh you good <laughs> like you're making some wild ass posts and um and oh and, and a big thing about the plural system thing was like being very clear i do not have dissociative dissociative identity disorder which is the new thing to call multiple personality mm -hmm. like i do not have that i am these six people this system inhabiting one body and that's what it is right and if you question me on that i will get very angry at you and ac accuse you of approaching this in bad faith. Mm. And that was that was a very common thing. And I think sort of went on like a went on a block party <laughs> and, and anyone anyone who who did not fully embrace the plural system thing was gone. And it was yeah, just like manic posting for a while and then the manic posting stopped again i don't know if my timelines are exactly right i know there was a second institutionalization at some time now i don't actually know if the second one was after plural system stuff or or if both occurred before at any rate uh the plural system business uh came to what i can only describe as a screeching halt <laughs> where they shaved their head, which is always a good move. Britney Spears. <laughs> um, 
apologized for the plural system stuff, um, expressed deep regret for the trans surgery, and now fully identifies as a traditional Catholic straight male with tits and a makeshift vagina. <laughs> so he's he's had a real and, and look, we're back to he. We we did the circle of life can do life, that's what uh, the, that's life, what the Lion King's about, life, right? Uh, life finds a way. Life uh, 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 finds a way. What if I? What if I chopped off my 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 tits and uh, and what if they what if they kept my old dick and I sewed it back on? <laughs> I don't think it works like that, but you can try. Well, don't tell Jeff Goldblum how to live his life. Okay, is that the guy you went to school? Is that who you're talking about, it, guys? Here's why it's a fifty dollars story. That man's name was Jeffrey Goldblum. <laughs> that man's name was Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> so yeah, that's the uh, that's the long and the short of it. I have no new updates because apparently the Facebook is long gone. I assume because uh, probably a few people had a couple of questions after yep. the uh, after his uh, uh, what you, uh, return to innocence. <laughs> um, yeah. So uh, and and. I'm honestly kind of surprised he's still alive because I've de I've heard a lot of stories and obviously it's not the norm, but like the, the few people who go as far as getting full surgery and then for whatever reason coming to regret it, that often does not end well yeah. Yeah. at all. Because so, uh, once you cut it off, uh, you don't get it back. It's somewhat, it's a little bit permanent. So, and and then to go, to go back so hard the original way, uh, harder than where you started, yeah. <laughs> which, which is wild, with a, with a weird, crazy bit in the middle. <laughs> um, it's, it's just really a lot. But uh, yeah, I, I wish the uh, wish the Facebook was still there. But uh, unless he's on a unless he's on a new name and I'm I'm not privy to the next chapter mm. in this. Uh, Did in, you look up in, just by last name? Um, I didn't, but I can. And then say it out loud for all of us. No. Sneaky, sneaky. I think people would like to hear the. I think full people would like to know his name. full name. Um. It's not you, is it? No. But you're kind of hot. I'm going to visit you later. <laughs> uh oh, it's not. No. Why would Kevin be friends with them? <laughs> that doesn't seem right at all. No. What, what, and a, a bunch, I see a bunch of wrestling posts. No. So what probably. about Justin Alexander Chun Manchu? Maybe only you got blocked. Or de <laughs> deleted or whatever. No, I was a good friend. Oh. I don't know if that's true, but I I bet, <laughs> but I bet there were worse friends. Um, don't see it. Disappointing. Disappointing. Yeah. What so if you? Just, I wish I had a button to the story at the end. What but, if you uh, just Google the name? I can do that. And then show me so I can say it out loud. <laughs> you are a sneaky boy. I think. Uh, I think one time when you, I think when you first told me the story, yeah. you definitely said their name. I mean, I'll say their but, name to you, yeah, but just it's gone. not like it's not like I remember it and I can yeah. say out loud that. I mean, I'll say it to you off the podcast. I just don't want a bunch yeah. of people searching this person up. Yeah. Although I guess if you find my high school grad class, then you can uh, by process of elimination work. Just it out. look up St. George's uh, class of 1978. That's the one, and you'll find them. Uh, no, the well, apparently your uh, his his girl name uh, is exclusively inhabited by uh, other hot women. <laughs> oh, so that's good to know. So yeah, I'm sorry that I'm sorry that you <laughs> I'm sorry that you were the ugliest person with that name. <laughs> um, well, let's try the shortened version of your yeah. name, and then I'm gonna give up. Uh. I don't think you work for Wells Fargo. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think you're an old man who works for Wells Fargo. Nah. You don't know. It's uh it's very sad. But uh I'll if if I can find 
an update, I will. But uh, don't count on it. But I uh, hope you enjoyed that uh, that little roller coaster we uh, we went on together. And uh, if you uh, if you enjoyed it even half as much as I enjoyed telling it, that means I enjoyed it twice as much as you. <laughs> there you go. Uh, what else is going on? Do we do we make any other promises last week? Uh, creep of the week. Creep of the week, you say? Well, I think we d- we gave people bad information regarding this week's creep of the week but hopefully they're good little internet sleuths and figured it out because yeah, we sleuths and not creeps sleuths and not creeps but a, a, you know a, a couple of you might be creeps and that's okay um but you probably should err on the side of caution and send us a couple bucks so you don't find yourself uh in this segment next week <laughs> <laughs> just saying uh yeah that's very true so we had mentioned uh cl- uh, well-known twitter account uh at jerk to divas but i uh i thought it was just that one word uh but it, it's uh underscores between the words so so we're looking at and you're you're gonna want to follow along with us here <laughs> we're looking at uh at jerk underscore two to underscore divas jerk underscore two underscore divas and uh it's rocking a healthy uh, near 25,000 followers. Well, and uh, and why wouldn't he be? Yep. <laughs> Drew, tell me about this this man. Well, this just goes back to previous conversations we've had about guys who just jerk off to regular pictures of people. It is that. Except... And I don't get it. This guy is exclusive to the women of professional wrestling. Yep. And he likes tummies. He's a tummy guy. He likes to see Io Shirai's chubby tummy. Yeah, but not like not fat. He just he he likes he likes just a soft tummy. Yeah, I mean, but also too like he he's so fucking horny <laughs> that he's how posting, horny is he? He's posting nonstop all day, and like the the things that he's posting are not like i don't know i don't want to say like okay here he posted a series of four pictures of ty conti ty mellow whatever yeah that like not not nothing like overly sexy or hot they're just no. bikini pictures but it his co- caption is it's actually crazy how lickable and fuckable taste Ugh, body is. lickable but like that's not like this like out crazy like out there statement like man I can't believe no one's talking about how hot I, I can't Kate believe is. I can't believe this no one's saying this hot woman is hot like I'm the I can't believe I'm the only one I'm the first person to realize that in a cosmetic business on national TV some or maybe most of the women they hire are attractive you, I, yeah. I cracked the code yeah <laughs> it was me. Um, I'm girl wrestler Sherlock. He also like just put po- like slow motion, like three to five second videos yep. of like, you know, them taking a bump and as they land their butt jiggles a little yep. bit or like, here's just one of Io Shirai posing on over the top rope. And it's like the fucking thighs on Io. God damn. <laughs> And so we saw, oh, uh, we found a pregnant pick. I don't even know who it is. Oh, uh, Pey- Peyton Royce. Oh, cute. Yeah, there was one that he posted that was like, she's only one month and damn already. <laughs> I hope this picture isn't one month because that's going to be a gigantic baby yeah, if there's eight more months to go on this one. <laughs> but just like it's nonstop and it's everything... It's like how shows always get all the best ass. What does that mean? And it's just a video of Alexa Bliss's butt while she's standing on the apron waiting for a tag. Because that doesn't happen on regular TV, only on house yeah, shows. Yeah, because you're at the house show, so you get, you're there, so it's hotter ah, to you. True. true it's like how true. you overrate matches when you see them live. It's true. And then you're like, oh no, nah, it's not actually that good. But it's like, no, I'm seeing this up. Close. So it is the hottest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. 
<laughs> and uh so we we first uh we're recording this on a wednesday so um and it's uh it's an aew tv night so we thought that uh maybe he he posts he gets more excited and posts more uh pictures videos disgusting comments on uh on tv nights and then maybe goes a little quieter on the uh on the off days uh not the case because i've i've scrolled back uh a week more than a week and it's just every single day seven days a week just relentless he's had twitter posting since june 2020 He's made 4,200 posts. But I feel like... He's liked 8,800 8, posts. That's a lot of likes. With 3,000 photos and videos posted. But of those, like, 4,000 tweets he's made, I don't think that's been evenly spread since June 2020. No. I think 3,900 have been made in the last two months. Sure. Like, he's going... Yep. Nuts. <laughs> yeah. It's probably some like young, young, oh, I would assume some younger guy, but maybe it's not. Maybe it's an old pervert who's just like. Either way, it's a win. Yeah. Just so obsessed with all oh, these women are so hot. Like every woman wrestler is so hot. I have to constantly retweet it. And like, so, yeah. like some, like not all of them are nudes. Or like, they're not I mean, even like, none I'm sorry, are I mean, b- bikini pics. Yeah. Uh, like they're, they're just, just like. like it, just stuff from Here's TV. Just a picture of Candice LeRae. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some is like TV footage. Some is just like a non-sexual at all, just photo of them. Or here's a six-second video of Bailey where her boobs are very slightly moving up and down, and his comment <laughs> is unbelievably fucking stacked. Yeah, bro, <laughs> she's so stacked. <laughs> There was yeah, there was a good one. I I scrolled past something to the effect of like I uh, I hope the new AEW video game is going to include jiggle physics to accurately represent the these beautiful femmes, <laughs> femmes. <laughs> femoids, some some fucking uh, incel buzzword. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm if you hear. Uh, a faint uh, a mouse wheel scrolling in the background. You, uh, your ears do not deceive you. I'm just trying to find the first day that he didn't make a post. And <laughs> it would I'm, be nice. If I'm you back could, to August. It's nice if you could just automatically go to the bottom. Yes, and then like go up from there because then you could be like, oh no, like one every four days or something, and then like, oh my god, here's the day. Here's the day he discovered <laughs> here's masturbating. The day he went nuts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, wait till this guy discovers porn. Yeah. And then wait till he discovers furry porn after that. Yeah, that's da- that's a slippery slope. Yeah. Once you find fur affinity, you're done. You're kind of done. You're done. I mean, donezo. But in a good way. Oh, okay, okay, like, okay, here's a picture- okay. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Drew? Shut up. <laughs> I undersold this. Joined June 2020. Yeah. I have scrolled to the bottom. Wow. Yes. Because the bottom doesn't go to June 2020. Uh-oh. He joined June 2020. Yeah, yeah. He stayed quiet for two full years. June 2022? His first post. Let me make sure that I... Yes, okay. Joined June 2020. It's early COVID. Sure. No one knows what's going on. You're a little bored. You and I didn't see each other for three months. You and I sex. You and I sex. We got very sad. Then we uh, got together and recorded a a very timely WrestleMania (laughs) review. Yes, we did. And uh, didn't hug and kiss. And... um, so, so, and while we were doing that, he was joining Twitter, but he, uh, he laid very low for two years and one month. His first tweet is July 30th. Oh my God. July 30th, 30th. 2022. That is is how fast he has made those 4,200 tweets and likely the bulk of those 8,000 plus likes. 
ladies and gentlemen, your Twitter creep of the week, <laughs> oh my jerk God. underscore two underscore divas. And like, how, sorry, how many followers does he have again? Two twenty five thousand. Hey, all presumably in the last two months. Yeah, because I know nobody's he, following you when you. Yeah, join you're, you're going to gain, you know, just random stuff happens and you get. I don't know if you're posting nothing. I don't know, 10 to 20 over time, but uh, not 10 to uh, not thousand, 10 to 20 period followers, just like b bots or random shit. Well, oh, my God, to it, you, it also but. took me to a telegram group. OK, you're Drew, you're blowing up my spot. <laughs> oh, fuck. I am so sorry. <laughs> you're blowing up my spot here because I, I noticed so sorry that jerk underscore two underscore divas uh, Twitter bio is just a link and that link is to a link tree that contains uh his twitter uh and then a telegram group uh wrestling with the only fans too i assume because the first one got banned probably and the third link did you have a look at the third link i did not the third link i'm currently is distracted by the telegram group the third link is Wrestling with the OnlyFans Archive, which is a link to a file sharing site, a uh, noted uh, reputable source, uh, gofile.io, uh, which contains a 7.1 gigabyte zip file that I am terrified to download. Do it. I'm not going to do, do it. it. No. Do it. It's full of porn and viruses. Boo. Boo, Scott. <laughs> boo, boo. Liar. Boo. Liar. Boo. Went from air somewhere else. But like, I I don't understand because this... 7.1 gigs. This fucking... Did you join the telegram? telegram group? Did you join? No. Are you in? No. No. Oh. This telegram group, like, it doesn't even have nudes. No. It's the same thing as a Twitter, right? Okay. There's like... Maybe slightly more risque pictures. Okay. Too hot for Twitter. Too hot for Twitter, apparently. <laughs> but, like, what's the point of the Telegram group? Like, if you're... You can just post all this on Twitter. Like, it is it because the content created, like, the people who it's of will more than likely see it and get rid of it, I guess? But, Possible. like... Man, and like the, the Telegram group is is just for the boys, Scott. It's more intimate. It is nonstop every day. Like, yeah. I'm going as far back as I can in this thing. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, thirty first, twenty nine. Like, it is a nonstop every yeah. single fucking day. Is it just media of media? Oh, th there's no like discussion. No. Oh, wow. And then it's just like people giving thumbs up or hearts or yeah. poops or whatever. But like, it is non fucking stop. It's still going. That's a good scroll you got going. Yeah. You know, what's going to suck is if all this media accidentally loads into my, uh, <laughs> my photos and then or my gallery and then I got to fucking delete them all. I mean, real mad if I have to do that. But like, I'm going to say it's about 7.1 gigs worth of stuff. <laughs> maybe it is. Maybe it fucking is. Okay, good. It didn't. It didn't load any of them because I, I'm not in the group, so I guess it doesn't probably, automatically put them. Yeah, but like it's not even news. <laughs> so why can't you just put it on Twitter? It doesn't make sense. I guess because yeah. you got you got to you got to branch out. You got to have more than one uh, more than one social media I, presence. How many how many fucking creeps do you think are in this group? Oh, Andrew, I couldn't I couldn't begin to guess. <laughs> <laughs> Does it list the member number, or do you have to join to find uh, that out? Four point four k subscribers. It's good numbers. Yeah, I mean, but yeah, you so have to join to see who else is in the group. Yeah, but but it tells you the number. I literally have not seen one nude photo <laughs> this entire time. <laughs> this is all Twitter content, and like some of them are just like, uh, fucking, uh, who's the manly one from the Iconics? Uh, Jesse McKay. Like, they're just, like, yeah. stock promo photos. Yeah. Like... Like, st stuff that you would have found on WWE.com. Yeah. And you're like, God, I got a nut to this. I have to I bust. I have to nut to this. <laughs> ah, there is, a uh, There is some Paige Van Zant content that is nudes. Okay. But... 
yeah, like, okay, fine, one person. So then just post all the Paige Van Zant stuff. Also, Deanna Parazzo is really fat. Um, <laughs> Let's be clear, guys. If you <laughs> if you take one thing away from uh from from this week's uh. I'm going to say an, an all-timer of a Twitter Creep of the Week segment. I would I would put it in our top three, at least. Yeah. Wouldn't you? Oh, uh, yeah. Th- this guy, just just for the pure volume <laughs> of how many have been posted in the last several months, yeah, this wins. I uh, But if you take one thing away, let it be that Dion Barazzo is really fat. <laughs> <laughs> she got really fat? COVID was not kind to Diana. I guess... Uh, COVID and also finding out that your boyfriend's a pedophile. Yeah, that's that's a bummer for anyone. Yeah, and- I I wouldn't want to find out that my partner, who is like a well known professional wrestler with ties to like big companies, my ears are burning. Uh, is a pedophile. Let me see your partner. Check with ties to big wrestling companies. Check is a pedophile. Check. Well, <laughs> interesting. That's a shame that I just found that out about you. Well. Hopefully you handle it better than Dion Barazzo did. Well, uh, good good news is I'm already fat, so I don't have to get fat. <laughs> yeah. You should you should develop an eating disorder. No, I like food. I like food a little too much. I like food too much as well. It's good. The problem with food is it's good. Too good. Yeah. I can't believe I'm still scrolling through this as if anything's going to... I mean, you're, you're trying to find the bottom of the abyss. You're trying to find the... the I'm, you're, I'm you're, trying to find day zero. Yeah, is what I'm trying to. You're find. you're uh, you're James Cameron in the uh, in the Challenger vessel. Yeah, trying to uh, trying to find the bottom of Mariana's trench. Yes, I am. You know, bum, I bum, think bum, James Cameron. I think this guy might have a sex addiction or a porn addiction. Uh, is this a uh, is this a game recognizing game situation? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> What's it to you? I'm just asking. Sky I don't know if you're blue. a qualified expert. A lot of these are Natalia's sister, which is kind of weird because she's not even famous. Didn't the our first creep of the week also have Natalia's sister stuff? I feel like I recently Natalia's sister recently. No, I, I think maybe I was just maybe. talking to someone. I oh no, I was maybe talking to I was maybe talking to Ben from Drunken Presence, and uh-huh. that also came up. Yeah. Ben it, might be jerked to Divas. It's kind <laughs> of the same people over and over again. It's a ton of um, Natalia's sister, Tony Storm. Um, oh, oh, there's the first Thunder Rosa. Lana, uh, Chelsea Green. And Most injured woman in wrestling. The worst wrestler in the world. Uh, and then uh, the former Peyton Royce. And Paige Van Zant, and it's kind of just that over and over and over again. In the Telegram, yeah. I feel, Ugh, I, Grace, gross. I feel like the the Twitter is pretty varied. The Twitter yeah. covers a lot of ground. Well, maybe he asked his uh, followers, uh, "What do you What are you into? What can I get for you? Who's your fave?" He's like he's like a bartender. You walk up to the bar, he's like, "Hey, what, what can, can I, I get? What you? can I get for you?" I'll have a I'll have a Paige Van Zant, please. I'll have a Natalia's sister sour, please. Ugh, I bet you she is sour. I mean, her dad was a rapist, so. Oh, yeah. He it's would. cool that that, like, whole stable all drugged and raped their wives. Except for Owen. <laughs> it, well, yeah. Owen's. I think Owen was cool. No, Owen's an angel. But Owen's, the, Owen's pure. The yeah. rest of them. The rest of them. I cannot speak highly of them. No. Davy Boy. Dynamite. Nightheart. Monsters. Monsters, all of them. Pillman? Pillman was a different kind of monster. Brad. Brett might be a little bit of a monster. Well, he did uh, have sunny days, so. <laughs> True. Uh, you keep talking. I'm so, gonna. I'm gonna keep scrolling I, before I see something. <laughs> you're. You're, ah! you're never gonna get what you want. In fact, you're gonna get whatever you just saw. Oh, you got some Naya. Her hole. Well, and not even her hole. Oh, woof. woof. That's that's a man. For uh, for any non wrestling fans watching, uh, s- search up. Don't s- do it. Whatever he's about to tell you, don't do it. No, do it. Search up Nia Jax N I A J A X my hole, and I, I I promise you, I'm not lying. It is not sexual. It is just stupid and funny. It is just the dumbest fucking thing, and it's it's unclear if 
creative it's just a thing that happened on wwe raw so like however bad it is it was on national tv so i'm, I'm not trying to trick you into seeing something disgusting may be, be, 16th day one <laughs> you found it may 16th Pretty congratulations good. guy <laughs> may 16th that's so that's when he had to start wrestling with the only fans too yeah so one got banned sometime in then. uh in may maybe he was doing that instead of twitter and then was like oh i got banned i guess i'm gonna have to go to twitter oh all these women wrestlers are blocking me on twitter i guess i'm gonna <laughs> have to do back to telegram no but he likes it when the women wrestlers block yeah, him. I he's like I'm i want them more collecting these blocks like pokemon but why would he, why would it get taken off of Telegram? Telegram I, doesn't fucking I was going to say, you got to do something wild. Telegram is the number one thing used by ISIS to communicate. And furries. And, well, furries, of course. And in our case, both. Furry ISIS. <laughs> Ugh, gross. Ty Valkyrie. Oh, handsome woman. Uh, but yeah, you got to do some bad shit to get banned. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what you would have to do to get a Telegram group removed. I don't know. Besides just get like reported for spam or something because the way like we keep getting added to like weird crypto yeah. groups, but uh, otherwise I, I couldn't even tell you what it would possibly take because the groups I'm in voluntarily <laughs> <laughs> on Telegram, they're not gone and you should fucking see them. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So yeah, I, I couldn't begin to imagine, but that's, uh, <laughs> that's, that's very interesting. Uh, Drew, what do you say we... We wash the taste out of our mouths of uh, jerk underscore two underscore divas <laughs> with, a, with a couple of fresh beverages. But actually, before we do, I'm going to stop myself. Uh, the funny thing, we when we were when we didn't have the right at when we didn't have the underscores and we were searching for jerk to divas. The first thing we came across was uh, most respected wrestling journalist in the world. <laughs> Dave Meltzer, who uh, sometimes is his own worst enemy by replying to everyone who adds him on Twitter. And by sometimes you mean always. All, all the time. Um, getting into uh, a, a bad faith argument from some guy about like favoring uh, AEW over WWE. And literally just like the, what the guy was saying was lying. And then another like actual respected internet wrestling person, which does sound like an oxymoron when I say, <laughs> when I say it out loud. But uh, as far as they go, he is said like, hey, Dave, <laughs> you're uh, you're arguing with a teenager with a Sasha Banks avatar who has uh, who has liked or replied to is is liking who is liking a bunch of posts by jerk to divas. As you're not going to win this you. one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, concurrently, like he's like troll Dave Meltzer, like this creepy pig. <laughs> uh, yeah, fun. But let's have a drink. Ugh, Diana Parato. Gross. I think my drink's gonna be worse, so, so let's have it first. Oh, we're sharing your drink? I don't want to share your drink. You can have a sip. No, I don't want to. You don't want to taste it? No. You're... I don't care about the Pauls. Well, I'm a big fan of the uh, the the Logan Paul X KSI uh, sports drink hydration drink venture known as Prime. Uh, which was recommended to me by a friend of the show, Drake Dragsaw. So this is on you if I don't like it. Um, Hacksaw Drake Dragsaw? Hacksaw Drake Dragsaw, who is currently embroiled in a number of Twitter copyright strikes made against him by an insane person. Nice. <laughs> so uh, best, of, best of luck to you and, uh, and all our watchers of All Stars and Stripes. So I'm cracking open this... Uh, Prime is the uh, is the brand. Uh, ice pop flavored beverage, uh, which is you may what know it that? as a, a, a bomb pop, rocket pop, the the classic uh, red, white, and blue patriotic popsicle. Yeah, that uh, that kind of thing. Um, it's twenty calories, which uh, worries me greatly because that means there's going to be artificial sweetener in it. I was kind of because it uh, a big thing about this is it has coconut water in it, and I was kind of uh foolishly optimistically hoping that the sweetness would just come from the coconut water and they wouldn't feel the need to put fucking sucralose in it but they did put fucking sucralose in it your favorite so my very favorite so uh i'm gonna try it and i'm also gonna tell you that uh that we bought this at a uh a, a new vape store that also sells uh exotic uh import drinks and snacks 
and I paid $7.86 for this fucking drink that I'm not going to like. Drake, if you want to reimburse me, I'm not, <laughs> not going to be mad at you. <laughs> Drake, if you don't reimburse me, I might be mad at you. But let's try it. Let's see, let's see how mad I'm going to be. It's... Mm, oh, I spoke... Uh, until it's great Ugh. until the goddamn sucralose aftertaste it's pretty good Who doesn't love aftertaste and just that weird chemically like here's what sugar would taste like if you'd never tasted sugar before <laughs> <laughs> but the the initial taste is good like i see where you're going with the uh ice pop as they call it it uh it tastes too sweet to be hydrating, but maybe it is. Maybe it's got electrolytes or some shit in it. I guess coconut water does. But um, yeah, this could. I bet this would be literally. This would be a winner if it, if they just if they took out the sucralose and did nothing else. It would be a little less sweet and not have the dog shit aftertaste because the flavor. I think is good. Much like, and we've said it a million times, much like every fucking interesting flavor of Bang Energy. Yep. And if how those fuckers had sugar in it, I would, well, it's, maybe it's for the best they don't, because I would just go nuts. Oh, yeah. Like, if all of those were drinkable, yeah, yeah. if every Bang was drinkable. You're getting diabetes tomorrow. So fast. Yeah. But, uh, it'd be a good ride. Not as good as my friend from high school's ride. Nah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this, uh, uh, so, so much potential. But, uh, I'm glad I can contribute Seven dollars and eighty six cents to the uh, to the training fund of uh, of Logan Paul, the next challenger for the undisputed WWE World Heavyweight Title against Roman Reigns in the a nondescript Middle Eastern progressive in country, a city in a country that has allowed women to drive. For years and for years innumerable <laughs> or three, <laughs> one of the two, but uh, best, best of luck to front of the show, uh, Logan Paul KSI. I could take or leave. I don't know much about him. I think he does boxing. He's boxing. He's British. He's kind of funny. British. I see. I didn't know he was British. Yeah. That's exciting. You subscribe. You're a subscriber. Yeah. Big KSI guy. Big KSI guy. Are you, are, are his fans called KS guys? Maybe. Because they should be. They should be. KSI hit me up. I got ideas. Uh, I bet he has. Before, I don't look. Shut up about your drink for me. No. <laughs> I bet he has like an absurd amount oh, of like, followers. Uh, five million. I bet like ten million. It, I bet it's very funny. It's. I think. I bet it's funny to a lot of listeners that I like haven't heard of him. Basically. Uh, let's do. And also, how many followers does Logan Paul have right now? Oh, like fifty million. Logan Paul has 23.6 million yeah and he's verified very cool <laughs> ksi i hate that these are in my searches now uh is he black yep didn't know that either this is all very exciting he's black is his real name so is his actual account jj ola tunji sure because it's not ksi i don't fucking know man. but i assume a verified account with 16 million subscribers is probably ksi yep. if i search ksi and that's what comes up uh but no, PM oh, no, p pardon me. That This is like his alt channel. His regular channel has 24 ah. million subscribers. No, no, PSY. Oh, P I mean, he's got a lot of views. Yep. But also, he said a lot of bad things about America and he got canceled. Did he? Because he went to college in the U.S. when he was okay. younger. And then he was just kind of talking like, like, you know, years, like probably a couple years ago, just about how much of a shithole America is and how much he hated being here. Where's the right lie? There. I don't know, but he got canceled over it. What's he got? What's he at? Our friend Psy has 17.5 million subscribers. More more one. than KSI's alt. Less than his yeah, main. And he had one fucking song. And he had one well, fucking song. That fucking song. Three, three I like, but one that was a hit. That fucking song has 4.5 billion yep. views. But he's got number one. He's got another one with... 1.5 uh, billion views. Daddy? No. The one with Snoop Dogg? No. The, uh, gentleman. gentleman. Yeah. yeah. Gentleman. gentleman is big. And you'll be pleased to know he put out a new one produced by and featuring Suga of BTS four months ago. 
Psy, still going strong. Interesting. But only outside of the U.S. Correct. He's not allowed in. No, no, he's out. Uh, I got a pina colada Fanta. <laughs> I like that you said it like that. And I'm going to... Big fan. I like, I like pina. I like colada. Yeah, it's like, it's caffeine free. I, they all are. <laughs> it's not bad. I'm glad. Pretty decent. Good. I, uh, I won't try any of that because I, uh. It's not as good as a, as a Sobe though. Oh, what is? Well, it doesn't this... have, it doesn't have cum in it. Well, that's true. It's not Liz, it's not Sobe Liz Jizz. Liz Jizz. What was it actually? Uh, Pina Colada. No, it was Liz Blizz. Liz Blizz. Blizzard. Lizard Blizzard. Yeah. Which again, that's just come. Oh, I forget you I forgot you bought a crunchy bar. Yep. I bought Canadian exclusive crunchy. What's the American equivalent? I don't know, uh ten thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> it's not at all, but that was very funny. <laughs> Could I <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I, I've been looking up and down the candy aisle. Uh, perhaps I missed it, but uh, could you direct me to the ten thousand dollars bar? I know. I know. There's a British equivalent. I don't know if a toffee. There's huh? Toffee bar. Violet crumble. Weird. Is what the British version is. Uh, let's see. What if I violent do? or violent? <laughs> I would love a violent crumble. That's what that's what happened to the uh, the towers. Mm. Yeah, but I don't think you'd want that in a uh, chocolate bar. American version crunchy bar. So this is crunchy with an I E for those who uh, are unfamiliar with it. It's like it's chocolate covered honeycomb. Basically, it's pretty good. Oh. It's um. It's it's one of those ones that like I'm like, besides today it's like never the one it's never the go to but like if you're presented with one it's pretty good. Um, I'm not seeing. Uh, it's a brand it's Canada only, bro. It's a brand of chocolate bar with a honeycomb toffee known as sponge toffee in Canada or honeycomb or cinder toffee in the UK as well as. <sighs> yep. As well as hokey pokey in New Zealand, because the continent of Australia are just fucking goofballs. <laughs> I'd have called them caswasses. <laughs> Literally, they're like sponge toffee, honeycomb, hokey pokey. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> you are you are the silliest people on earth. All inbred criminals. Yep. 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 With a few, uh, few, few abos thrown in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's quite, it's quite the mix. Uh, the, I don't I love calling them abos. They, uh, I think you're not supposed to. But uh, what are they going to do? Get on a, get on a big uh, paddle boat and come over here and give me the business about it. The I don't know if there's much of an American equivalent. So I guess you guys are going to have to, uh, you're going to have to come to me. Can get I give you get can yourself I give a crunchy bar. Can I give you breaking news of things that are only important to Drew, but honestly just made me very happy to see? Or is that against the policies of the podcast? Let me see. Do we need to mute your microphone? So let me check. Let me let me check the charter. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll allow it, but watch yourself, counselor. Shout out to Drew's real life non Scott best friend. I don't like that. Uh, Darren Postulo. Darren P. I mean, he was there before me. My childhood but I'll friend. I'll be there when he's long gone. Well, I mean, <laughs> I see you once a week, sometimes twice. I haven't seen him in seven years. But we, <laughs> but we text every day almost. Okay. Uh, mostly about hockey. All right. Uh, but he and his wife mm -hmm. spent several years struggling to have a child. And they had, oh, I don't know. Like, no, not, not exaggerating to be funny. Like, seven miscarriages at like all different terms hmm. now and that you've said it i can't make jokes i know about right it. Um, i hate that you've taken that away and from they me. really struggled yeah but they eventually got pregnant and had a daughter okay 
Uh, they that, are now. That daughter is now pregnant and she had a miscarriage. Oh, hey, I got one in. got it. <laughs> uh, they just announced they're having twins. Holy shit. So good for them. Now they have too many kids. Now they got five. Well, yep. it's, part, it's a party of five now. Now they're going to have to, they should. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah. They should scrape one of the twins. <laughs> Well, they should force them to absorb each other in the root womb so you get one wait, super kid. Wait, yeah, wait to, or yeah, you could do it that way, or you could wait till like eight months and and oh. do an ultrasound and see which one is clearly like the better. Not twin. retarded. <laughs> you got to flush because, the retarded. By the way, one always is. One always is. If <laughs> one's the bad one. If you, if you're if you're listening to this and you're a twin and you're like, wait. My brother's not retarded. <laughs> I got bad news. Yeah. <laughs> this is the way you're finding out <laughs> that you're retarded. Uh, I also weirdly have a text message from him from like a couple hours ago. So, but not about having twins. No. So there you go. Well, shout out. Very to cool. Darren P. Darren P. And that also reminds me of a friend of mine uh, texted me yesterday, I think. And he's like, I don't know if we've done. I, I love that he prefaced it with, I don't know if we've done this before, implying that this is the sort of thing we do regularly. And he's right. Um, a uh, a gender reveal party, but it's about your adult son's autism diagnosis. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't know if we've done it, but I like it. That's really good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's really, really good. <laughs> like, it, but when the balloon explodes, is it just full of trains? Trains. <laughs> Trains as far right, as the eye can see. Let's find out what it is, and then pop. And then there's a bunch of Thomas the Tank Engines <laughs> yep, fall out. Yep. And they're like autism. <laughs> we knew it. <laughs> Our son's only functioning at fifty percent. This is not a surprise. <laughs> I like trains. <laughs> So the main piece of business I need that more, we've been I need more beverage that we've been skipped over more beverage here have some fun no no the one that you okay but it's it's not it's not cold anymore well, what do you, oh how do you want to handle it I don't know just have some you want me to get a glass with ice oh boy Andrew oh well, how would I supposed to know it was gonna explode it's Should... fine it sucked itself back in ah <laughs> uh, it's the my penis of drinks this is a uh, Vancouver, British Columbia exclusive. Local jokes get your local work, Drew. Uh, it's called Not Too Sweet Soda, Craft Soda, Okay. Limited Summer Release, Lychee Lemonade, I have or had... Lychee, as I've heard retarded people say it. We that... went throughout the R word a lot in the last couple episodes. <laughs> <Going> hard. <laughs> hard with the R's. The, th but that fucking fruit has been the bane of my existence. Pronunciation wise, yeah, uh, I was I was raised I was raised lychee on the dairy bitch. I was raised on the dairy bitch. You poor young fuckers who never saw good mad TV or any mad TV, yeah, or just or any good comedy. Like if you're born after 1990, you've probably never seen good comedy uh -huh. unless you really went out of your way. Yeah. Um, but if you're born in the 2010s like me, then you've seen all the good stuff. Yep. Um, what the hell is it? Oh yeah, lychee. I was raised on lychee. It was always lychee, lychee, lychee. Then I I found myself uh, embroiled <laughs> in uh, in bubble tea culture, going bo boba, if you will, uh, having probably stemming from going to school uh, just in the Democratic Republic of China. <laughs> just yeah, my. All of my classmates, besides the uh, besides the one mentioned earlier, were all members of the Chinese Communist Party. <laughs> so there was a lot of uh, boba to be had, and uh, lychee is an exotic flavor that I very much enjoy. Uh, uh, right up there with passion fruit, me two of my favorite flavors on God's green earth. I would go as far as to say, and at more than one different bubble tea establishments i would order a delicious lychee green tea with coconut jelly and then i would hear the lady at the front yell to the guy at the back because those are gender roles ladies take the money men make the food <laughs> I, I guess actually it should be the other way around now that i think about it but i don't know oh it's because they're in the eastern hemisphere so everything's switched that makes sense um she would yell back to him lychee and i'm like oh 
well, now, now I'm I'm quite embarrassed. I look quite the fool. I've, I've been pronouncing this delicious fruit slash nut slash whatever the fuck it is, a, a nut with an uh, uh, a fetus inside it. Yep. <laughs> um, I've been pronouncing this wrong my whole life. But now, going forward, I will be I will be cultured. I will be educated. I'll be knowledgeable, and I will go to the next a, a third different bubble tea establishment and order. A delicious lychee green tea with coconut jelly. Lychee green tea. I'm like, well, <laughs> <laughs> bitch. <laughs> what am I supposed you to? You so- Chinese bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so there is zero consensus. I, uh, I, I, on how to pronounce this fucking thing. So I just I, after that, I'm like, okay, back to lychee. F- fuck what yeah. you heard. F- forget. I'm not. I, I've gone black. I'm not going. No, I've gone black, and I am going back. Oh. You're the one. I'm the one. <laughs> yeah. So that being said, let's try this not too sweet craft soda. Lychee. Lychee lemonade, which is a fun. Lychee. <laughs> the, 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 the day that I had changed my pronunciation and then the original one was yelled to the back of that boat. Like my, you could pinpoint the moment my heart broke. <laughs> and here. <laughs> Has this soda. Mm. Lots of lots of lychee up front. That's nice. I like that. You may have half. Big fan. You may oh, have I, half. I, you want me to throw down half, then you throw down oh, half? Yeah. All right. I'm going to have the top half, if that's okay. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> yeah. I, I, you don't want me? I Generally, I like the top half, but I don't, I'm not going to make you drink the bottom through the top. <laughs> Which is a real... Expert level sexual move. Yeah. We wouldn't know though because we're non penetrative bottoms. That's correct. That's really good. Yeah. Which, by the way, is still one of the funniest things to me is picturing yeah. gay, gay guys who neither one of them want I don't an erect that. penis no, anywhere no. near them. No, no, no. No, thank you. But they also don't want to put their mm-hmm. erect mm-hmm. penis in anything. That doesn't seem fun either. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe they just, maybe they can't get hard. Yeah, their their dicks don't work. Yeah, <laughs> and they want nothing in and around their butts. Yeah, but they're gay for men. But they're gay for men. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Such a fun vibe. <laughs> like, how would you be the partner of a non penetrative gay? Also, be a non penetrative like, yeah, yeah, like gay. You have to be right because that's us, and it works great. Yeah, <laughs> but like you could never be with a penetrative person. No, because they would just be sexually frustrated. Yeah, that up. relationship lasts twelve hours. That relationship lasts to that night, <laughs> yeah. and that's it. Now, are, would you be able to, in theory, use like elbow, armpit, back of the knee? That's not technically penetrative. It's not, but I would also a hand job be penetrative. I a guess hand job is not penetrative. Hand jobs are real gray area. Yeah, I think we have to. We might have to ask the gray man about that. Uh oh, who's that? Goss. Uh, yeah, Goss is the gray man, and Evans is the other one. Luke Evans from Pinocchio. Chris Evans oh. from a movie Chris Evans is in. Uh, not another teen movie. Correct. He is. That's call. what you call a pull, Good ladies pull. and gentlemen. Um, you want to yeah. talk about movies? Yeah, let's talk about movies. All right, because uh, I got to work in the morning, so I'd like to move this along a little faster. <laughs> Fair enough, but don't get greedy. I'm gonna. Oh. So, as we had promised, uh, I don't know, four episodes ago. Uh, this is to continue our streak of four. Brian De Palma movies in a row, mm-hmm. completely coincidental. It, it we just, did not plan this in advance. It just happened that way. We were like, "Who? What's another good John Lithgow movie?" You know, my favorite John Lithgow movie is Raising oh, Kane. it's Raising Cain. Yep. Oh, okay, cool. Who directed that? Oh, Brian De Palma. Oh, Brian De Palma. Didn't we just do two Brian De Palma movies, well, and then typically I mean, we t- take an actor and that takes us to a new director? Maybe. Well, typically yes. But. Yeah. Well, what are you going to do? Not ta- not watch Raising Cain? Yeah. And now that we're on Brian Brian De Palma, now we have to go from Raising Cain to a Brian De Palma movie, as per the actor-director, actor-director pattern we have established in this season four, The Worst Year of Our Lives. Perhaps the first time I've said the title of the podcast this episode. (laughs) And we are well into it. We're over an hour. Yep. Yep. Feels good. 
So, so what's today's Brian De Palma movie? Well, we promised it a while ago. We did. And so now we're going to deliver on 2022's mm. They Slash Them, a oh. Peacock <laughs> exclusive. <laughs> True. I, I have both terrible and breaking news. Okay. I believe 2022's Peacock original, They Slash Them, is not is neither written nor directed by uh by Oscar winner question mark no. by non by Oscar nominee question mark I don't think so oh my god Brian De Palma Brian De Palma didn't make this movie <laughs> now I have to oh, look so up then, his awards so then why did we watch it Scott well because uh because we're breaking with our own traditions we're breaking bad oh <laughs> how do you like that uh because a a beautiful young girl in Australia. By the name of Tommy, paid us to. <laughs> That's why. Uh, okay. Man, like, none of his stuff gets nominated for anything. Like, if you look at all the awards... Brian De Palma has zero Academy Award nominations. How? But, like, how did... How did fucking, like, the, the Untouchables not get nominated for something... Well, Drew, it was nominated. It, 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 in fact, won the Blue Ribbon Award ah. for Best Foreign Language Film at clearly somewhere not in somewhere America. Doesn't speak English. <laughs> so don't say he hasn't won anything. But uh, that's, yeah, that's crazy. He he hasn't gotten a lot of accolades. I guess people don't like him, and except for the fact that. Other directors and writers literally made a movie about his career and how good he is. Yeah. And he made Quentin Tarantino's favorite movie. Uh, and maybe yep. your favorite movie. Yep. And a movie I think is bad. Twist. No. A movie I think also is awesome. So, yeah. Sorry, Brian, I guess. <laughs> sorry, man. Can't win them all. Tough also, break. In fact, can't win any. It's also, great. to be honest, uh, with the last two years, uh, does it even matter if you've won one before? Because now they mean nothing. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, when did... What's the cutoff? 2018? I, 2018 feels about right. I'd even love to say 2019 because Parasite... Yeah, oh, yeah. Parasite I get, I get. won and deserved it. But I also... Want to say, but let me just make sure I get the but 2019, yes, because Parasite did win and was deserved, yeah. But that was the big swing that was, that the, was swing. the is the, it, like the in theory, the best movies are nominated to now. This is a very specific set of guidelines that only these certain things can be nominated no matter what. Doesn't matter if they're good or bad or if there's better <laughs> movies being made. It really doesn't matter if they're good or bad. Did you guys watch Promising Young Woman? It's an objectively shitty movie. <laughs> or, or like, it's fine, but how is it? A, that's not an Oscar fucking movie. It is not a best movie of the year contender. Mm -mm. Not even a little bit. But I, I also want to say the cutoff should be 2015. The year, the real year, Jada Pinkett ruined the Oscars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they, it took a while till it actually happened. The, the, the wheels of justice move slowly? Sure. Is that a phrase? Sure. <laughs> I think that. I think, I think that's a, or like the, the hands, the penis of history. Whose penis? God's? God's, God's a woman, by the way. Oh, shit. Now I'm in trouble. Uh, isn't God Alanis Morissette? Uh, is that what... Um, get the poll, Scott. Joan Osborne posited? Maybe. When she asked what if what God, God was, was one of us? us? And it was Alanis and Morissette. It was, and it was a contemporary female singer-songwriter, yeah. Alanis Morissette. Yeah. It was right there in front of you, Joan. Yeah. She did not have another song, did she? Uh-uh. No. Uh-uh. One and done? Yeah. Made four point five billion dollars off what if God was one of us and and retired to an unnamed island in the in the Caribbean. Big, uh, what, if big God what if God smoked cannabis? Wasn't nice. that, a, that a parody song? Absolutely. One of the best. <laughs> one of the all time goats. <laughs> what if God smoked cannabis? <laughs> so Tommy paid us money. Hard cold. 
Did I say hard? <laughs> U.S. American dollars to watch they hard. slash them hard 2022. And in addition to Tommy doing that, we've had a couple other people inquire, and actually a lot of other people inquire, and one other person already send money for, oh, I don't want to call it an all request spectacular or something like that. I, I would never dare to be so grandiose. Nope. You but can't, you can't state that. Make that bold <laughs> statement. It's very bold. Um, so you, uh, we don't have a hard date yet, but it is clearly not too early to start sending money and requesting movies. So you can send to paypal.me slash not Scott Henson. As the weeks progress, uh, we will start hitting this hard at the beginning of the episode. So more than six of you hear about it like you are right now. But those who are here right now, you're very special. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're special people. A lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of people are telling me that these are some of the most special people that have ever listened to a podcast. Are they from Nor countries like Norway? They're from countries like Norway. <laughs> um, now, let's let's sweeten the pot a little. Because if you get in on Go this on. early, mm. we're going to do your movies first. Yes. So the longer you wait, the longer into a, a hypothetical all-request live spectacular yes. uh, your movie will take, uh, take place. And as those of you that have listened to this uh, podcast for an extended period of time, mm -hmm. uh, every all-request uh, live but we've done um totally isn't e live. isn't exactly uh one episode long so no. if you're waiting waiting your turn and you're gonna put it off a little bit uh you might have to wait until episode two or three or, or seven or <laughs> yeah or a high number so if you want your movies to be your movie to be reviewed really early on in this process get on it. get them in now now let's also not forget there are some very minor rules to your requests for... Let's well, let's also not forget 9-11. Uh, when was that? Um, what, in, I guess Friday? In, I guess in England it was November 9th. <laughs> ah. Mm. Yeah. 11-9. 11, 11, 11 Never nine. forget. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. yeah. So, if you're going to make a request of a movie, which is awesome... Which is or, great. Or... Several movies. I was gonna say no one's no one's uh <laughs> no one's holding you down, making you wear a dress, knocking out your teeth and saying you can only request one movie. Uh, nobody's not showing their face and just gently putting your face into a puddle that you can't get out of <laughs> and nobody actually knows who you are. No one look, No one's no one's glassing you. No one's glassing you here, <laughs> guys. We're all friends. So yeah, but by please, all means multiple movies. If you do hey, multiples, give us multiples. Give us multiples. <laughs> we we accept the challenge of multiples. Yes. Now, please, please, as in to kindness to us and out of respect for us being upright citizens, we should form a brigade. We should make a brigade. Please, nothing over two hours. I will give you. Here's what. Here, I don't. I don't throw around. <laughs> here's the word, a bold statement. I don't that's throw around. Bite us in the ass. The word hero, very often, mm -hmm. but. I will, nothing over two hours. I will give you, because I'm nice, a 10 minute cushion. Grace cushion. Cushion for the pushing. If it's 205, 208, we'll, we'll watch it. Yeah, that's fine. If it is over two hours and 10 minutes, pay for two movies. Okay? I like that statement. Is that fair? That's fair. That's fair. Okay. The one one ten. One payment gets you two hours and nine minutes of a movie. Yes. So anything more than that, even if it's one minute, is a second. It's a second movie. full movie. Now more than fair. The only other request is that you this movie, whatever movies you decide you want us to watch and review, you have to make sure that they are accessible to us. Either accessible to us or you just send it to us. Yes. If you have a, a, a digital copy of it, then you can send it to us so we can watch it. Or if it's streaming or there's torrents or it's easy to find, yeah. that's awesome. Great. But if it's something that is so obscure that even you can't find it, uh, then <laughs> it I might also be tough guess for us we're not to watching find it. it. Yeah. 
So, yeah. So, on the end, if you do request something like that and we can't find it, make yourself available in some way so I can contact you to either get a different request or if if it was that movie or nothing, <laughs> refund you. Also, no refunds. <laughs> also, final sale. <laughs> All sales are final. No, no store credit. Yeah. So, so that's the deal. So, uh, so start getting hyped. I, I have more and more lately uh, gotten messages like, "Hey, when y'all doing requests? I got some good shit." So, yeah, you know what? Start, uh, start proving it. And also, feel free to sig- recommend movies that we've already seen, so we don't have to rewatch them. Hey, that's that is always <laughs> a lovely. A lovely little gesture. Um, yeah, so that's the deal with that. As in coming weeks, we'll give you dates and deadlines and uh, and all that. And again, probably, and uh, I'm I'm saying it so I remember to do it. Say it at the beginning of the episode, so uh, so everyone hears it, and yeah. maybe also post about it on um, on other social medias and uh, try to remember to say it on stream also. So. Everyone who wants to can get in on that shit. Yeah, and uh, you know, please um, don't don't pick anything uh, that's too upsetting to either one of us. That that was uh, I knew I had one other thing. So try to pick something, and I know a lot of you are. How do I say it? Full blown mm-hmm. autistic. Yep, that's sort of the way I was going. Are poor judges of. Almost everything. <laughs> Listen, everybody likes different things. Yes. But you know but what some most people, people like? are better at liking yeah. things than others. You know what most people like? Good content. <laughs> that is uh, that is something of a, of a through line, yes. If we're going to do a three-hour episode, let's say, of movies people recommend, uh, please pick something that's got some good content to it. Yeah. So that we can, you know, be silly geese <laughs> and have a good chuckle or uh, genuinely really like something or yeah. hate every decision you've made. <laughs> yeah, there's like, there's lots of options, but try to pick something, and I know it's hard for some of you, that uh, <laughs> that ask yourself... Hey, would this be good in some way to hear these two goofballs talk about these it? These two knuckleheads. These two chuckle fucks. These two chum buckets. <laughs> these two moose knuckles. These, <laughs> these two pig cocks. These two- <laughs> Damn it. That, that'd be whatever I was going to do. I think I was just going to do yoga hosers. I think I was just going to do Kevin Smith movies. <laughs> but, uh... These two clerks twos. You, you got, you got these me. two clerks threes. <laughs> you got me on pig cocks. <laughs> Slurping down these pig cocks with these two. <laughs> Slurping down pig dicks with these. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um... And if you really want to donate and you can't think of a movie that you want to suggest, then t- you can either just donate us the money and enjoy the podcast. Yep. Or you can dealer's choice. you can do dealer's choice and we will pick something from the movies that we've wanted to watch. Because we know what's good. <laughs> we and, have and, impeccable taste. And you're dumb. <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're from Hollywood. We have the money. Yes. Because we're both Jewish. <laughs> a, J- a Jewish snow leopard from the upper Mongolian peninsula. Of, and a, of Jerusalem. <laughs> and a, Jew- a Jewish tiger from the Sunderband. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> yep, that's us. Couple of... Couple of big old Jew cats. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what we should change the name of the podcast to? Is just no Jew cats. <laughs> I mean, I it would get definitely get a few new curiosity listeners. Uh, yep, and probably for the wrong reasons. <laughs> Certainly, <laughs> almost assuredly well, for the wrong reasons. Either way, yeah. Too many Jews or too many neo Nazis. <laughs> Too many Jews. Is that is that what TMJ is? Do I yeah? Do I suffer from TMJ? Got TMJ. <laughs> uh, so they them, they them, and here we find ourselves. Our first ever Peacock exclusive. I bet it is. Karen was it? Was it? Does it wait or was no, it? No, Karen was a some other bullshit. I was wondering if if to be exclusive. <laughs> if Tommy was exclusively requesting <laughs> Peacock exclusive films. I think that's funny if we just start finding movies that are exclusive to one streaming service that no one's heard of. 
If we only did Tubies, that would be that would be fun. <laughs> or uh, what was uh, Qu- Quora? Wasn't Quibi? Uh, Quibi, Quibi. Well, we'd have to watch those on our phone. Uh, that's true. Phone exclusive. Or uh, we could watch a Tout exclusive. I would love a Tout it out. Of- <laughs> hey, I'm touting it out right now. Uh, yeah, they they slash them. Um, a movie whose charm begins and ends with its title. <laughs> correct. <laughs> I mean, I've got a, I've got more questions than I have statements, but um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so wh- three seconds into the movie, yeah, I I write. Uh, it just occurred to me that there's going to be a lot of its pats in this movie, aren't there? <laughs> 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 which uh, <laughs> which then made me think: is is its pat like the first woke movie? Do, no, cause, uh, what, there's another movie. Tootsie. Well, Tootsie. <laughs> uh, no, Sleepaway Camp. Sleepaway Camp. Sleepaway Camp. Is the first woke movie. It's Pat is the second. Yeah. Because they're like, hey, is it a man? Is it a woman? Hey, it doesn't matter. It's Pat. It doesn't matter. It's Pat. It's a person. Also, it's a woman named Julia Sweeney. So that's the answer yeah. to the question. <laughs> and then Dave Foley's the other it. 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 <laughs> Right, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think Dave Foley's the. Is this a woman or a man? Yeah, it is Julia Sweeney, right? I'm not. I don't uh, fucking remember. Julia Sweeney, Julia Sweeney, and David Foley. David credited as Look back when you. he was fancy, back when he uh, before he relaxed. David Foley. Oh, and uh, probably Julia Sweeney's not even the most famous SNL personality in oh. it. Rita Rudner, Charles Rocket. Oh, nice. part of part of the famous uh, mid '80s cast that when Lauren wasn't in charge that everybody hated, yep. who then blew his brains out. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure he did? Didn't hang himself like last time? Oh, you know what? I fool me once. I am going to confirm Charles Rocket's method of suicide. This re- yeah, because I I blew it on Ray Combs, and uh, you won't get me. I won't get fooled again. Death. Oh. i have never been happier to be wrong (laughs) wow (laughs) Hmm. like black tar heroin overdose no jumped off of a bridge into traffic Ooh, that's cool cut his own penis off (laughs) and threw it at his wife um no, uh, so I I would like to make an uh, emergency apology to the uh, family of, to the family to the Rocket family to the Rocket family legit name, uh, nope, stupid stage name, uh, Charles Charles Adams Clavery, known. Ugh, I okay, I I you know, Charles, I would have done the same thing if I were you. <laughs> Charles Adams, born Charles Adams Clavery, known by stage stage names Charlie Kennedy. Charles Rocket and Charlie Hamburger. Hmm. To that, I respond: Kill yourself. I mean, and Neil Hamburger. To you want th- him to kill himself too? No, but like Neil Hamburger is like a a character, a character, okay. not a stage name. Well, he chose his stage name, Scott. Yeah, that's why I think he should kill himself. Oh, what's that? He did. Rocket was found dead in a field on his Connecticut property. On October 7th, 2005, at the age of 56, with his throat slit. (laughs) Self-inflicted. Yes. Yeah. Ten days later, the state medical examiner ruled the death a suicide. I would have liked to be a fly on the wall for the interim ten days. Yeah. Were they looking for a serial killer? The (laughs) police... They Maybe they were. The police investigation determined that there was no criminal aspect to the case. What did he use? A sickle? Oh, I would love a sickle. That'd be sick. But um, no, no specifics beyond that. But uh, yeah, shout out to the to the truly worthless <laughs> early <laughs> <laughs> early eighties SNL cast minus Eddie Murphy, the only guy who got them through those dark, dark times. Oh, and noted cool guy Joe Piscopo. <laughs> but, uh... What yeah. a terrible way to go. Cutting your... Suffer... Like, that's suffering. Like, you're you're suffocating. That's not you're instant. You're gargling on your own blood. That is not instant. Was that's, he high? That's ugly. Uh, talk screen clear. Holy shit. 
Yeah. That's fucked up. Yep. That's really <laughs> fucked up. Sure is. <laughs> so, the, uh, the most fucked up death of, of an SNL cast member or not? Probably one of the most fucked up. Yeah. I mean, that and I mean, Phil lot- Hartman. Oh, Phil Hartman's more fucked up, actually. Yeah. yeah. And then just like a bunch of ODs. Yeah, but that's, I mean, you're comedians. It's, it's going to happen. happen. Yeah. You think, you think we're this funny without drugs? Yeah. Get out of here. Uh, um, we're going to die soon. Yeah. Okay. Back to Charles Rocket. They, them. Oh, <laughs> pardon me. So, oh yeah. We, oh yeah. We got on an, it's Pat tangent. <laughs> uh, so it is the, it is supposed to be, or like you're given the impression that it is a, uh, gay conversion camp. Yeah. But so you're meeting all of these who's it's and what's it's and <laughs> thingamabobs. It's, it's real Dr. Susie. It's a real Dr. Susie. And then you meet the staff who are there and uh, they are all kind of wait, waiting to find out what's going to happen. And out comes the guy who's in charge of the entire camp. And that's uh, Mr. Kevin Bacon. KB. And uh, looking not too bad for a guy his age. Looking fine. I just saw his the 30 year old daughter in Smile. Oh, cool yeah is she as ugly as her mom oh is uh, the sedgwick yeah she's better looking than her mom but not as hot as her dad not as hot as her dad she she kind of looks like a girl kevin bacon okay that's good yeah good for her no she's she's pretty good looking um i i looked at her filmography and i'm like considering she's kevin bacon's daughter and is 30 now She's done very little, and uh, some of the acting in Smile uh, answered my question oh, pretty okay. thoroughly. Yeah, is it because she had a bad smile? She had a bad smile. Ah, uh, just pointing. Uh, th- there is uh, th- there's a scene where she uh, where she falls through a glass table. Spoiler, and then ah, I was gonna see it. Oh, now you can't. No, yeah, I can't now. Now I know that she falls through a glass table, <laughs> and then like sits up and like has kind of a freak out scream, mm-hmm. and it's um pretty embarrassing yeah she does <laughs> it's a pretty it's a pretty bad scream oh, <laughs> gotta okay. say uh there's a, there's a lot of bad acting uh a train oh. from the boys is you her don't say a train from the boys is her fiance okay uh, he's very bad well, i guess you can only do one thing at a time and that's the boys <laughs> yep and uh some other bad stuff too and there is one there's another sort of main male character that um that showed up and i'm like i know this guy i know this guy and i Kyle spent Gal- galner Kyle Gallner, and I was trying to place him the whole movie, and I'm like, he's very familiar, but I picture him younger, like a decent amount younger, so it's not like something I just saw him in, it's something from earlier in life for me, and I'm like, and like, as like the climax of the movie is happening, it was everything I could do not to yell out, Beaver from Veronica Mars! (laughs) (laughs) That's my guy. Man, he's in like, uh, every horror movie of the last like t- like seven years. Yeah, I, I looked. I looked yeah. at his uh, filmography. And I'm like, oh, he's I, I Beaver's been busy. He's a busy Beaver. I've probably seen them all. I don't know. Probably. So uh, you're thinking like, okay, here here comes trouble. Yeah. But KB seems pretty woke. Pretty woke, pretty he's, chill. He's saying, like, we're not here to change you. I like gay people. So, it's not about being gay. It's about letting you live a happier life. Yeah. So when when he said, and this this begins my, uh, and a d- peek behind the curtain, my notes for this are longer than anything I've ever made notes for before, <laughs> in, including university. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's... It, it starts with this and then sort of continues the same way. Uh, it's mostly just re- uh, or like things I wish were the next line <laughs> and not w- what uh, the actual thing is. So he says, um, uh, gay people are a okay with me. And then I thought the next line was going to be, but if you're trans, you're in for a world of pain. <laughs> but uh, that was, that was not the case. He stayed, uh, he stayed chill. He stayed woke. Yeah. Said like this, this is uh, the, 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 psychiatrist it's my wife this is the new girl she's the doctor uh this is is our athletic this is our athletic director director guy who who used to be who used to be a camper here and here's his sham wife sarah here's his beard (laughs) yeah that that's zane our former student and here's the woman that he pretends he loves yep even though he's a total queer 
Um, and that, so kind, kind of the main kid. I don't know. If it's yeah, kids. main character. I mean, they're main all character. like they're all twenty five year olds playing seventeen year olds. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Um, and the main the main one, J- Jordan. Jordan. Um, I'm like, oh, is that my non binary queen from Thirteen Reasons Why? And and then I'm so I look it up. I'm like, oh. No, it's not. I, <laughs> I'm I am non-binary racist. Apparently, nice. I like it. And all of them look, all of them look the same to it you. It was a real. They literally they all look the same to me. Uh, and the the thirteen reasons why person, even though it's a girl. Uh, <laughs> uh, I I forgot that their name is Bex. B e x Taylor Klaus. And I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ, Bex. So I think th- that was what I was going to bring up earlier. The um, the 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 trans name being the the female or other other way around version of your dead name right. or whatever. And that's one of two ways things often go. The other way they often seem to go is you pick an alien name. Yep. <laughs> Bex. Yeah. Yeah. And yes, B-E-X to answer your question. Yeah. What, you, Come on. Androx is what I would choose. <laughs> I like it. A N D R O U X. Androx. <laughs> the U is silent. <laughs> of course. Yeah. The U is silent like you should be if you don't get my pronouns right. Yeah. <laughs> Correct. Uh I love the uh, the closeted high school jock literally wearing his Letterman jacket. Yep, Just like, here. Th- let's be very clear about these character traits. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're, yeah. None, none of the characters are even a smidge unique no. or different that, like, they're, they're all caricatures. Pretty broad strokes. Pretty broad stroke. Like, <laughs> yeah. the super effeminine, over-the-top, sassy, gay black guy the super like talking like a like a broy dude lesbian girl. Yep. Then like the pretty one that's like, well, I'm not I'm really a- sure if I'm gay or yeah. straight. And then the like, well, the the a, a reveal later of who somebody else is, and then just like a alien looking trans, uh, like like M- M- MTF, but not really. Like just like a somehow like a non-binary twink simultaneously MTF and FTM and alien and not a, a human yeah human to alien yeah P.S. the only good MTF is man to feline yeah uh, <laughs> which we can get a lot closer to with your help did we mention the uh, dishonest money we did so he d- says that you know he kind of runs down like what's going to happen at the camp what the rules are blah blah they have to give their cell phones and their laptops and everything blah blah, blah. yeah and then he said okay so uh, girls in uh, can go to these this this dorm and uh, guys you can go to that dorm and, uh, and we'll, then, we'll meet back up in thirty minutes and they all start to split. everyone goes to their dorms except our hero Jordan yeah hero who uh, <laughs> who then says to Kevin Bacon uh, and I'm paraphrasing. <laughs> Uh, hey, actually, Twitter told me that I'm too special to go to either the boys or girls cabin. So could you build me my own? How have you not been prepared for this for 35 years? To which I wrote, I'm already on the murderer's side. Me too. 100%. (laughs) Except for that's not even how it happened. No, I know. Yeah. Exactly. I I assumed... Campers yeah, but I was like, killed. is yeah. is this person supposed to be the hero? Because they're not coming across as a hero. Not really endearing yourself because, like, that much at, off At the this bat. point, Kevin Bacon and the staff have been nice. super straightforward, yep. like, nice, woke, happy to, ever, like, to, to accommodate. And they stay that way the whole movie. And then... They, they never turn me against them. <laughs> me neither. No, no, no. 100%. <laughs> but then they, them, is like... How how dare you not know that I was going to be forced to come here by my family and not have accommodations for only me? Yeah. How dare you not have a genderless cabin? Yeah. Um. Yeah, and then, <laughs> and then as if I. D- uh, oh, and, and yeah, and also, uh, and then uh, they like. Er- Re- refer to themselves in the third person plural like jordan said 
talking about themselves, they can't believe they're at this fucking camp. And like, it is not the insistence on that that is bothering me. It's literally just the grammar. Yeah. The grammar throws me off so much. Yeah. yeah. If you, like a new word would be better, but like the, it, it's killing me. <laughs> Um, but anyway, to to this request, uh, Kevin Bacon, a hero of the movie, <laughs> yes, he is. responds, and again, I'm paraphrasing, uh, I acknowledge and respect your identity and, transi- and transition, but you're clearly male, so go to the boys' cabin and shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, just go to the male side and we'll see how it works, and P.S. it's going to work because I'm going to make you. <laughs> yeah. So then we go to, what, like the the group therapy session they go to the group therapy session where it's like talking about what why why are you here why you're here what's up so you just get all the stupid backstories and at this point it was where i realized how badly or how happy i am that it, that stereotypes in horror movies are like real because i was like thank god the sassy gay black one's gonna get killed first <laughs> because within seconds of him talking i was like First of all, like, how can you not write another no. a feminine gay black guy? Like, no. he has to have, like, quips and one-liners and then be obsessed with going to Broadway and seeing musicals. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. All while wearing a sun hat. <laughs> all wearing a sun hat and, like, yeah, like, dressing totally femme. And it's like, you can't, it's no great. character can be anything other than. No. And, and then that kind of made. Subtlety me, was not the name of the game. That kind of made me think, like, is this movie being written by somebody who's LGBTQ plus T2? W um, um LGBTQQ2IA plus. Sorry, that's the one. Or like is it being written by oh, sorry. somebody who's I, I forgot. Uh LGBTQQ2IAP plus. Because uh, I think they, they added pedophiles. Oh, yeah. That's right. Yeah. So is it somebody on that in that list that's that's writing, directing, making this movie? Couldn't tell. Or is this like Oh, we're, we're, we're we're like executives at Peacock and we're like, you know what would really like would be an interesting movie Mm -hmm. is if we had a bunch of people that are on that spectrum and they go to a camp and then there's a serial killer. Yeah. Like I couldn't tell which one it was. I lean towards the latter. Yeah, me too. I don't, I don't know if this was like queer created. Nothing uh... but Caucasians. (laughs) Uh, Written and directed by John Logan. Who appears uh, to be a middle-aged white man. Who is a middle-aged white man, although he has done... He's a playwright, and I think all playwrights that aren't David Mamet are gay. Is that is that accurate? Sure. <laughs> um, although he's... he's but... He, so this is his directorial debut. He's written a chunk, and all his written stuff is pretty butch. He wrote Skyfall. Interesting. Um, and some Penny Dreadful City of Angels episodes. Cool. Starring uh, Josh Hotnet. Rango. He wrote Rango? Story by and written by. Well, Rango's pretty butch. Rango and one. Rango and Hugo back to back. Oh, uh, yeah. So he was on okay. a real uh, Go uh, phase there. Uh, and Did he uh, also direct Go? No. Or write Go? No, Skyfall and Spectre. Okay. So clearly his... Ooh, an alien covenant. So clearly his talents are more in the not being in charge of what's being seen on camera. Hold on. Was Alien Covenant... Alien Covenant's... Fossbender fingering himself? Uh, kissing himself. And making... There was a fingering joke about... Fingering joke, yeah. That was that movie? Yeah. That was pretty gay. Jury's out on you, John Logan, it's but I'm watching. It's not those guys, because they're the same. <laughs> You can't be gay with yourself. <laughs> we did that. We did yeah. establish that actually. He wrote the Aviator. The Aviator's Butch. Yeah, gay guy can't write Aviator. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. no. <laughs> literally, literally impossible. Yeah. All right. So we're thinking uh, non queer, written, directed. Mm-hmm. Although he has done Broadway, which doesn't. Is, yeah, I guess I don't know. He's a, he's a tricky one. So we got our eye on yeah. you. Anyways. So they, yeah, they're they're all telling their backstory, and they're all just like the lamest, like you know, 
not not original at all backstory like i came from a christian family and they don't understand me or like oh, i feel like it literally that was everyone i, I want to be i want to I like i'm not sure who i'm who i like but i want to be a mom someday the jock wanted to stop having to look at dicks in the locker room yeah <laughs> like it, they were all just like cookie cutter copy and paste like what would a gay guy say this okay done not even gonna question it yeah and uh, it, it, this movie also presents the fiction that anyone cares if a woman is bisexual. No. Give, no. Who cares? Who gives a shit? Who gives a shit? Who gives a shit? Get out of here. I, I wish the the therapist... Oh, no. it Was Kev, was it Kevin Bacon doing it? Who was running... It was Kevin Bacon running yeah. it. Yeah. Bacon should have just told her to leave. He's like, oh, you're just a bisexual girl? Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, sometimes you get drunk and kiss your female friends? Go oh, home. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. You're every girl ever? The fuck? Fuck out of here. Go fucking home. <laughs> You're wasting my time. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, that it, it's just all this boring shit that's not even, like, you could say, you could literally have said anything in this meeting and none of it fucking mattered. No. And then this continued my writing responses to lines in the movie. Um, the, the black girl said, my parents made me come. And then I said, yes, and now I'm going to. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and they, uh, then I literally wrote, okay, this whole thing is just going to be me writing zinger replies to lines <laughs> in the movie. Uh, and then the uh, flamboyantly gay black guy uh, made a uh, a, a, v- a very uh, fleeting, uh, merrily we roll along uh, Broadway. <clears throat> oh, no, he just mentioned Broadway in general. And then Bacon, in order to endear himself to flamboyantly gay black guy, said, hey, I saw... Uh, uh, I, I saw, and he only referred to it as Merrily. Uh, I saw, I saw Merrily twice opening week, and and black guy was like, "Oh shit!" And then I'm like, "Wait, I got that Merrily we roll along reference. Do I need conversion therapy?" Yeah, but that's not what the black guy said, and that was one of the moments where oh. I was like, "I wish he was dead." Oh, what was that one? Where literally, like, oh, he, he's like, like he, he goes, he goes, bitch. Oh, it was bitch. Yeah, it was, and I was like, <laughs> fuck. You. Yeah. Whoever's writing this deserves to die. <laughs> and also kill off the gay black character. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, um, I can't remember where I heard about it, but uh, so Merrily We Roll Along is uh, was a very short-lived uh, Broadway musical, I believe, uh, by Stephen Sondheim, uh-huh. who is like, is like nothing but hits otherwise. Yeah. This one was like universally hated mm. closed in the first i don't know cl- first month there were maybe like uh 16 performances okay closed after which is not great for a sondheim no. musical um i don't know much about it i think it uh i think it goes backwards in time and starts it in the most recent times where everyone's miserable and then works its way back to where everyone's happy, which is kind of an interesting concept, but apparently there's a really good documentary on it Okay, called the best worst thing that ever could have happened. Mm. And I want to see that because I, it sounds interesting. Um, Somebody give us money for it. Someone give us money for it. Like I've already, I've already downloaded it, but, uh, I'll but I'm not going to watch it. I'm not going to watch it. Unless you give us money. Yeah, unless you give us money. And, um, and I might delete it. There you go. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's hanging by a thread. So you, uh, you watch yourself. Yeah. Uh, so then, yeah, then they're going to do, oh, they go to bed and the, uh, yeah, that, that's, that's the next thing. Right? They, they, do they sing pink yet? That's later. Okay. Uh, they go to the, yeah, they go to their separate cabins, they go to bed, and then very mm. early in the morning, the, like, tall black girl- Goes for a private shower. Gets up and sneaks off to the shower, and yeah. while she's showering, the beard, the beard of the <laughs> jock, the jock, uh, guy- Yeah. Uh, sneaks in and, uh- <gasps> Gets Gasp. Get, gets the old uh, the old eye, uh, eye full of the of one eyed Blinky, <laughs> and then briskly escorts her to the boys' cabin with Kevin Bacon. With Kevin and Bacon. Kevin Bacon like is like, listen, I've been nothing but kind to you, and I will not take to liars. You are a liar, you dirty black. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, Kevin Bacon gets real subtly racist in this movie. No, it doesn't. Not but, really. Yeah, so I it turns out just you. turns out that. Uh, Alexandra 
is Alexander hmm. and is a trans and a trans a trans and uh, yeah so they they drag her to the male cabin yeah um everybody's very confused and then the next day they're gonna go do uh, activities <laughs> specific to their cabin right? is yeah. there anything in between really it's there it, um. Yeah, the first thing I, I mean, wrote. They have fucking conversations in the. Yeah, yeah. But none of them fucking. The first happen. thing I wrote after Secret Dick <laughs> was uh, I guess I guess one of the early was activities. That their homage to uh, Sleepaway Camp. You know what? They were at a camp and there's a Secret Dick. What? Uh, what more do you need? Spoilers for Sleepaway Camp. Uh, Thirty five years after the fact, and that no one's ever done before. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so I, I think there might have been a tug of war early in the day where I wrote gay oh. girls would 100% beat gay guys yeah, in a tug of war. Percent. And it's not even close. The fact and, it was competitive yeah. is embarrassing. And also at that point, I think the girls had the black trans, which, uh, not to get too deep into statements that I'm afraid <laughs> to make, but not to get too deep into statements regarding fast twitch muscle fiber. Uh, <laughs> The girls had it in the bag. Yeah. <laughs> and, it's literally oh, the gay jock guy against four butch girl, three butch girls. With no help. At, with, yeah. Jock has nothing backing him up. Mm -hmm. Nothing. You think Merrily We Roll Along is going to back him up? No. I don't think so. Um, oh, and they also, I think at the beginning, they introduced like the, the, the park custodian. Oh like, yeah. Balthazar, who is, I, gee, I wonder if super creep Balthazar is going to be the red herring where it seems like he might be the killer and then he isn't. And then he's the and first yet, one killed. And he's the first oh, one hmm, killed. I wonder. Is that the first time a horror movie's done that? Yeah. Is this, would yeah. you describe this as groundbreaking? Gra yeah. Visionary. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Um... Who was at the one-on-one -on -one therapy session with the bitch from True Blood? Oh, he's just the main. Yeah, it was yeah, Jordan. Jordan. There was a lot. <laughs> without saying too much, mm. uh, there were a lot of accidental truth bombs dropped in that therapy session. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just saying. Um, uh, oh, yeah. I think I missed some stuff because the, the next note I have is, oh, look, Red Herring is dead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's a uh, he's a perv. He was pervin on the by the by girl shower when cam. she got there, and then when the next time we see him, he's in his like shack is it a, with a screen bank with a screen bank <laughs> where he's watching the girls shower. Yeah, and then from behind him comes a uh, a masked man who masked person who uh, uh, smashes his face through a monitor that shatters as if it was like a mirror. Yeah. And, like, just slices them to pieces. Yeah. Uh, I guess er earlier they take them out at night and make them pair oh, yeah. up and kind of camp out in the woods together at night. And yeah. the kind of the first... In hindsight, unclear what the point of that was. I don't know. <laughs> just so they can be scared at night and you can you can show the killer at one point uh, from a distance. Yeah. Even though the killer isn't after the campers. No. But, you know. Yeah. That, and, that's why in hindsight, I'm like, what was the point of And this? the only real thing of that really is that the, the jock guy is paired up with uh, fucking Limpress Black. His name is Merrily We Roll Along. Jaquanzane. Ja <laughs> and um, they, he's kind of like, D don't, don't touch me. Like, don't get close to me. And yeah. then they end up falling asleep next to each other. And, then, and it's very cute. And then he wakes up and goes, oh, bad news. I'm pregnant. That was, uh -huh. that, that was, was yeah. that was funny. My favorite character. Still want him dead. Oh, for sure. <laughs> um, so yeah, the, sure. now the red herring guy is dead. Oh, it was shocker! Uh, yeah. But but they don't find him until like almost the end of the movie, so it didn't really fucking matter. Uh, no. Yeah. Yeah. Found him late in the game. Uh, and then it's time for uh, gender normative gender activities. Gender normative activities. Yep. So the girls all go to do bake pie, and I love how. The less gay you are as a girl, the better you are at making yeah. pies. Because <laughs> the bi girl yeah. made the perfect pie. Yeah. And the other ones and like the, couldn't and, even figure out how to put a pie yeah, together. Yeah, and the real dikey ones just like fell down and were covered in dough. <laughs> yeah. Dough and like the filling and they were like, I did my best. <laughs> and then the boys go uh, target shooting with rifles. Yeah. And I was thinking that uh, it would be so great and this would uh, become my favorite movie of all time if as soon as they passed out the rifles, 
half of them blew their brains out. I was kind of thinking the same thing. Yeah. That, like, they would do something where, like, it would get I'm really like, this intense. This was a real conversion camp. And they would be sad. Like, they'd be, like, getting yelled at or screamed at for yeah. doing something wrong. And then they would just go, <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but it was not to be. Uh, but, but, uh. They did target shooting. Uh, Jordan, our hero, question mark, <laughs> was, uh, was really good at it because, uh, he's, military family military blah, family blah, blah. yeah and then the uh the closeted athletic director was jealous and challenged to a shoot off and our hero still won and then uh kevin bacon was mad about it and he's like all right now we're getting real now first i thought they were just going to make them go hunting and like hunt for yeah. dinner go find something yeah something reasonable but like no we have an old dog at the camp and you have to murder it. yeah he's got cancer <laughs> who's gonna volunteer who's gonna be the killer yeah and then like nobody will and then he picks the gay black guy whose name is uh merrily we roll along thank you and he's like screaming at him to do it and like like literally the second he chose the chose him, I'm like, well, Jordan's gonna do it. Yeah, Jordan's yeah. gonna do it off screen, and then they're gonna be like, <gasps> that's what happened, and that's exactly what happened. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, you nailed it. Good job. So yeah, then uh, shoots the gun off in the air in anger, throws it, and then storms yeah. off like an angry dyke. <laughs> oh, I I did write a uh, flamboyant black guy breaking down after the yes. dog murder was some phenomenally bad acting. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, real it was bad. a real bad breakdown, yeah, real bad. Yeah. Um. Oh, one thing that I, I look... So, after the reveal of Secret Penis, yep. I looked it up and was like, that's a woman. That's not a trans actor as a trans person. True. I looked it up, too. Mm -hmm. And I was also surprised. Yeah. That it's a trans woman. I, I was like, that's, that, is a, that is a born, I thought that born was, female and is a female. I thought that was a cis female stealing trans roles. That's what I thought, too. Yep. And I was like, how is nobody mad about this? And then I looked it up and because. I was like, huh. <laughs> well, like, color me purple. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that what it is? The color purple? That's what it means? It, <laughs> <laughs> The color purple is just embarrassment. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> uh, if you think the description for <laughs> this podcast on iTunes and elsewhere isn't color me purple. That you're currently listening to and you've already seen the That name you're of currently the listening to and are already <laughs> that have already seen, but this is fun for us. If you think it's not color me purple and get me a ten thousand dollar bar, <laughs> you are out of your mind because <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> that is fun stuff all around. <laughs> <laughs> we're idiots oh absolutely we're, totally. th th this is the stupidest podcast uh, <laughs> so yeah then they go back to their dorm oh no that, so they all go they all they they leave the gun range the gun range the girls they just have like free time no well the girls get they all they all get free time to relax but the one who is teaching the baking class is the beard of the gay guy yes and she asks the, like, the buy one to stay behind. The one who is good at pies. And she's like, well, it would be a shame to not try the pie. Like, obviously, very clearly, like... Are the implications that she's talking about Poontang if, pie? Uh, if Dwayne Johnson is to be believed... Which he uh, always is. He's, the man's never told a lie. <laughs> uh, never lie. So, yeah. She starts, like, you know, cut, she cuts the pie, and she's being all flirtatious, and... The girl, like, is like, no, no, I don't want this, and runs away. Yeah. So then she kind of is like, I mean, looking back at it, you're like, ah, I see what's happening here. Mm -hmm. So she runs away and goes and hides at the dock where she's got a secret cigarette. <laughs> at, uh, the, where? Where would she get a secret cigarette from? <laughs> um, and the more uh, dykish uh, Asian girl with red dyed short hair... Uh, who she's kind of been, like, friendly with the whole time. Comes. I call her Gayer Aquafina. Gayer Aquafina? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, comes over to check on her. Uh, they have a very intense lesbian makeout and uh, rub it, rubbing clits together. I have never seen tits. So Simultaneously, weird. so small and so saggy. Yeah. As on the Korean girl. I bet you she was, like, 45. <laughs> <laughs> that like she's 45 playing uh, 17 as they say yellow don't crack 
Yeah, that's the exact thing. Oh, did it just ask you to give it a it rating? It asked me to rate well, the Why didn't you give it a rating? Down. I'm not a rater. Oh. You're not a are you in Oakland? You're not in Oakland or you're not a Las Vegas? I'm not a Las Vegas. I, I am Oakland. You're, I, I rep You're Oakland. an OG. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what was I even looking? The Korean girl and how old she was. Yes. Thank you for keeping me on track. Because her tits would be small and saggy if she was like 45. Monique Kim. I ah. like that name. I'm into it. She is. Oh, she doesn't have an age. She's ageless. She's ageless. Like many Asians. Uh, she has a height. <laughs> oh. She's five foot four. Yeah, that tracks. Um, Monique, I need to know when you were born. This is very important. Oh, her, no. Scott's autism. Uh-oh. Running off the her grid. First, <laughs> her first credit is the short uh, Street Fighter High The Musical. Okay. Where she plays Makoto. Uh-huh. Hmm. Monique Kim, how old are you? Are you an old lady? Or are you age appropriate? Uh, I don't care about your Korean Instagram. What? There, maybe she's from one of those countries where they don't do birth certificates. She's North Korean. I think she's, I think Monique Kim is North Korean. I think she escaped. She's the one? Yeah. Monique Although Kim actually a lot H. more get out now, but yeah. Monique Kim, wiki, age, boyfriend, height, boyfriend, family, network. I think that. They is just, she stealing gay valor? She's 32. Yeah. Yeah. That's why. That's why her tits are saggy. She's 30. My, my, you're I'm, 32. Your tits are sagging. They're perky as they've ever, they're perky as the day you're, I was you're, born. You're wearing a bro. <laughs> Man's ear. Man's ear. All right. So, yeah, she's playing almost double her age. Yes. Good stuff. Uh, so they and have, pulling it off. Good for her. They have like a uh, on the dock lesbian makeout. Yeah. And fucking on the dock of the bay, they call it. Yeah. Uh, there, from there, does anything even remotely important happen until we get to, uh, the big twist? Um, yeah, I, not, uh, my next note is, like, sleepaway camp related. Well, not, not sleepaway camp, but the, uh, the alien twink. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so there's nothing important between where we are and there. No. So, the, the, well, I think the... That happens second. Yeah, yeah. so uh, what ends up happening is that right after the lesbian sex scene, yeah. then the bro jock guy is in the lake, like, swimming. Yeah. And, and the alien twink uh, uh, FTMTF <laughs> is uh, there. and gets, FTMTFT question mark. Yeah. Gets, uh, gets down to their skivvies. And I do did were you as upset as I was that the twink was somehow also ripped? Yeah. Oh yeah, just abs like at like a nine pack. Nothing about this person made sense. They were genderless. They were simultaneously a twink and a hunk. Yeah. Per, we, you might say a twonk. A twonk. <laughs> but it, it a Kelly Summers type. It made no sense. Like no. Th- when abs appeared when the shirt came yeah. off, I uh, it blew my mind. And before, and I blew my love. before when they had their shirt on, it looked like they had like little tiny A cup boobs. Yeah. And so I was like, oh yeah, okay, on on hormones, but um, an an MTF. Yeah. And then no, no. just like pecs, like solid ass pecs, nine, as many nine abs as, as you can fit. Yeah, and just a big old dick. Insane. So, and then I was, uh, yeah, then I was like, is this a butts or dicks movie? It was a butts movie. It was a butts movie. Lame. But uh so they get in the water and they start making out, and then they get out of the water and go into like a shack. Yeah. Fuck where, shack. Where they have unprotected bareback sex. So love, they love shack? So neither one of them is gonna get any transmittable diseases. No. Because they're No pox. They're yeah, because it doesn't exist. A pox on those who would say that they would get a pox. Chicken pox. Yes. Yeah. Uh, that's where you fuck a chicken and then it gives you AIDS. That's how it started. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, so they, they fuck and yeah. then he, the bro jock guy is sleeping on the couch and then in busts Kevin Bacon and, uh, jock, uh, converted jock boy. Yeah. And they're and like, like, oh, oh shit. They got caught red handed. Ripped twink is a honey trap. I fucking love well, it. Well, and, and that, that, yeah, I, I can't believe that. You're at a camp where you're trying to convert people from being gay. It's pretty funny. But you have somebody on the inside who's a, who's a fucking Iraqi sympathizer. 
and is like, yeah, I'm gay, and I'm going to let other gay guys fuck me so that we can torture him into yeah. being straight. I like, mean, are you fucking kidding you me? You got to give him a test, and, and our jock failed the test. He's, he's a goddamn Sergeant Slaughter. A gay Sergeant Slaughter. <laughs> I was I laughed when it turned out to be a hundred. Yeah, shot. me like, too. That's great. You just let that guy fuck you in the ass with no condom. Oh yeah, you, and, in you might, and, and in theory bust inside you, because why wouldn't you? You might be gay pregnant. You might be gay pregnant. You but then who? you're like, yeah, yeah, but let's torture him straight. <laughs> like I, I got mine, now he gets his. Also, I can't I could not make heads or tail of it. I could not tell if Ripped Twink is a terrible actor or just has a weird voice hard to tell right alien hard, hard to, to tell. tell i'm like maybe he's good for an alien maybe i don't know maybe, maybe. i don't I, I don't think i can judge on the same scale could he replace alan tudyk as resident alien could be maybe season two is airing I, now i hope better not. be watching it i think it's season three already. oh my god maybe it's season three yeah. something is airing now it's pretty good you should watch it i think you'd like it i mean alan I like, tudyk's amazing i like alan tudyk um so yeah, so then what they do is they drag him into a room, they handcuff him to it, they strap him to a chair, and then he talks about inversion therapy. Im yeah. 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 Immersion therapy? I think inversion therapy is when you just go on the table that's upside down. Oh. In inventing something. It Excursion therapy? No. When you go on a trip? No. Uh, Reversion therapy when you become a baby. <laughs> Yeah, that's what it was. They're gonna turn him into a baby, into a straight baby. <laughs> they're gonna they're gonna do a, a Mortal Kombat babality on him. Yeah, and he's gonna be reborn straight. Yes, that'd be fun. Immersion therapy. Imagine being born straight. Imagine <laughs> immersion therapy. It wasn't that either. Aversion. Aversion therapy. Why we are we it. retarded? We're so we literally watched We're this movie so in the last stupid. like what forty eight hours. Um, I watched it at uh from. 2 to 3.45 a.m. today. Uh, I watched it last night 24 hours ago, and I couldn't remember that. Yeah. Aversion therapy. So the idea is there... You know it, what? The the journey was longer than it should have been, but it, it was fun. It was fun. <laughs> uh, so they strap a battery to his chest uh, with cable or with, uh, yeah, with wires, and then the idea is that they're going to show him a series of hot girl. Here's hot girl. Don't get no a boner. Here's, here's a shirtless guy. Don't get a boner. Zap. Yeah. So they, yeah, they essentially fry him until... Hot girl knows zap, hot guy zap. Yeah. And then, but, okay, here's the thing. Mm -hmm. I, even as a mostly straight man, like, you're going to show me a picture, like, non-nudes of a black and white, like, like, J. Crew catalog, where, <laughs> like, how, like, that's not... Yeah, it wasn't even nude. ...sexual. Yeah. Like, that's just... Photos of attractive people. I mean, people. I, I'm going to give the movie and the, the characters' internal logic the benefit of the doubt and assume that the the camp staff did a little pre-research on this crop of campers and found out that uh, that our repressed jock friend is a uh, jerk to divas type ah. and does not need no, any no. sort of okay. actual nudity or yeah. sexuality okay. uh, to get uh, full, like, prehistoric wood yeah yeah okay that makes sense uh um, that was my head cannon so then you know they they shock him almost to death they take him to yeah. the nurse she freaks out and she's like you know like we have to take him to a hospital and they're like no he just needs to rest first mention the nurse is my girl is my girl that's mm -hmm. true yeah I, old my girl yeah my, my woman my woman my my almost a grandmother my middle-aged woman a Anna Klumsky. Anna Klumsky. Ugly last name. Ugly woman. I, I knew you were going to say that, and I was prepared to say that's not fair. But it's she's, true. She's okay. No, she's not. I she's, don't think she's busted. She's not passable. Not passable? No. Not passable is harsh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, she quits on the spot. Kevin Bacon just kind of fucking yells at her and yeah. whatever. Uh, then the power goes out. Yeah. And then, but like the power goes out and they like freak out as if. Yeah. Every, this happened like every time the power goes out, there's a murderer on the premises. They've literally seen yeah, nothing. Nothing. To make them think that there is a murderer. As far, yeah. On the as premise. far as they're concerned, 
nothing bad has happened. They don't know that the red herring dude is dead. Yeah. And, like, there hasn't been any other, like, violence, appearances, like, accidents. Like, nothing's happened. Yeah. But they immediately go into full like, lockdown. Oh, blackout. Murderer. <laughs> go inside. Get yourself a gun. Get me a gun. And then we're going to stand guard. And get all these gay kids guns so they can blow their brains out. <laughs> yeah. Just like Charles Rock <laughs> and Ray Combs and Ray before Combs. him. <laughs> so. Pardon me. Hanging, throat hanging, slashing. Hanging, throat slashing. <laughs> so, yeah, they literally, like, immediately go into full-blown, like, they've already found several bodies on the premises. Yeah. A bunch of accidents have happened where campers have almost died. Like, it's full-on Friday the 13th. Yeah. Within seconds of the power going It was out. quick. It was real quick. So, um, Kevin Bacon's wife goes, oh, so, and then before, sorry, before that happened, you see gay, uh, uh, camper, uh, Camp ca- athletics trainer guy and his beard of a wife. Yeah. They are in the bedroom having sex. Oh, he yeah. is looking at a phone that has pictures of hunky men. Very funny. While he's oh, he's exclusively staring at the phone. Yes. While he's fucking her. Yep. And then the uh, killer the comes slasher. up behind and hits with a hits, kills him with an axe. The, the off screen. Lame. Yeah. The the slash in they slash them. Yes. Uh. So. Then yeah, so then the power goes out, and then Kevin Bacon's wife goes inside to get the get the gun, and Jordan goes inside as well to try and get a gun because they won't give the guns to the campers, right. even though Jordan's the best gun in the West. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so she goes in, and then uh, is trying to sneak a gun. Or they go in and try to sneak a gun, and here's Kevin Bacon come in, goes and hides in the closet, and then Kevin Bacon comes in the room, and then she realizes that they realize that Kevin Bacon's wife is dead in the closet with her slit, throat slit, yep. and then yells, comes out of the closet, and then Kevin Bacon gets all- Oh, is that a coming out of the closet yeah. metaphor? It is. Interesting. And then Kevin Bacon gets uh, knocked down by the killer, who turns out to be- My girl. My woman. <laughs> And uh, she's like, don't you remember me? I was I was here before. And they're like, oh, I don't remember uh, whatever fucking name her. She's like, oh, she's not real. I killed her on the road down the way and I took her place so I could be here to kill you. Yeah. Um, and then uh, has a big struggle with Kevin Bacon and because Kevin, Kevin Bacon has an actual gun, like a handgun. Yeah. And they have a big struggle. And then Jordan comes out, gets the gun, like, shoot him. You can do this. Like, you and I can go to every gay conversion camp and in the murder world. murder everyone. And murder everyone. And then Jordan's like, no, I'm strong enough to say to no. To not do it. And my woman uh, rams Kevin Bacon into, into a, a rhino into horn. Into a rhino <laughs> horn, a, a rhino head that's mounted on the wall. Yeah. And then slits his throat charles rocket style true and then jordan just like like number one who called the cops oh i guess did i think she... someone actually did yeah so the cops are coming i think it wasn't that poor jordan written. just like leaves and then the cops come and in theory arrest my woman and uh, J- jordan leaves but not before saying i'm going because yeah. uh and my girl's like come with me we'll we'll be the greatest mass murderers in history and jordan's like i'm gonna go with my friends now i'm like you just met these people are these your best friends yeah like you've barely talked to most of them yeah and then and then we up it we up it past friends because uh the uh jock uh ambulance is there taking jock out because yeah. he's been shocked nearly to death and uh merrily we rolled along is with him and they're like only family can be with it and he's like he is family <laughs> i'm like you just family met. you met 36 hours ago yeah like you don't know each other <laughs> yeah you don't even know his name yeah you think his name is merrily we roll along yeah. <laughs> Ugh. and uh and that was they slash them Boo! We got paid money to do it, Brian, so yay. Brian De Palma is bad at directing. My least favorite Brian De Palma <laughs> movie. Let's um, let's blaze through Mission to Mars yeah. and then uh, leave. What do you think about that? Why don't you make like a tree and, and get out of here? Fuck off. <laughs> uh, okay, Mission to Mars. Brian De Palma. 2000. 2000. As, I think as we stated, the last good movie before 9-11. Can we talk very briefly I insist. about how it's 22 years later and Don Cheadle has not aged a fucking day? It's weird. Black don't crack, baby. And I also thought, and I don't know why, that the one thing that did change about Don Cheadle over time is he got skinnier. I had it in my head that younger Don Cheadle was heavier for some reason, but he's not uh, really. Not he's really. always a pretty skinny I think guy. his face is a little chubbier, but yeah. not like enough where you're like, no. oh, Don needs to drop some LBs. 
Yeah, no, he he wasn't. But I had the I kind of had it in my head he was, and and yeah. I've just been watching him waste away over the years. Yep. But he's basically the same. He's always been the same. And he, he uh, yeah, absolutely has not aged. What yeah. what is he? Seventy four years old right now. He's probably mid fifties. That sounds about right. Um. Yeah. P.S. Great actor. Great actor. Yeah. Amazing actor. Should we watch House of Lies? No. 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 It's a TV show. I don't watch shows. I don't, I don't watch it's series. a TV show. I don't watch shows. Correct. Drew is anti show. So the movie is about a group of uh, scientists and astronauts who are going to, uh, as as the name of the movie states, where, where uh, could they be? They're going to go on a. They're going to go on a mission to Mars. Oh, they're going to go to the Red Planet. I am sad. So that- Val Kilmer <laughs> goes to the Red Planet. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, they're going to go on a mission to the Mars. Red Planet, to... is that the one that came around the same yeah, so time as like this? maybe a year and was bad, or a year after and is kind of bad. Yeah, but, but also, it's same year. But also has like a wild cast. Uh, yeah, we got uh, we got Val Kilmer. We got uh, Tom Sizemore, who would be the greatest actor of our generation if he wasn't a full-on junkie. Yep. Uh, he's got, uh, we got Catwoman 2004's Benjamin Bratt. Yep. And we got uh, Trinity from the Matrix. Ah, yeah. yeah. And uh, Carrie Ann Moss, Canadian, a Canadian, uh, whose sister went out with early VCW wrestler uh, Derek slash Christian Drake. Sick. Yeah, if he had played his cards right, he could have been Carrie Ann Moss's brother-in-law. Didn't. But instead, he uh, opted for the uh, for the uh, penis and cocaine route. Yeah, love which it. We can all respect. Yeah, mad respect. Also, Terrence Stamp in Red Planet. <sighs> I like Terrence Stamp. He's great. Right. Directed by Peter Brian, Berg. Brian De Palma. He did both. He did both. <laughs> same year. <laughs> he had a busy Two year. Mars movies in the same year. Directed by. Now, don't mishear me because it sounds like real people's names. Uh, directed by. Anthony Hoffman. Okay. Not Anthony Hopkins. Yeah. Not Philip Seymour Hoffman. No. Not Dustin Hoffman. Well, you can't talk about Dustin Hoffman. He got canceled. Not Anthony. Not uh, Quinn. not Anthony Quinn. Not Anthony Perkins. Uh, Anthony Hoffman directed Red Planet. Uh, two shorts in 2014. His next credit after 2000's Red Planet. Wow. And currently has fox hunt in pre-production ah a chinese movie nice oh he's one of those he is one of those he's a traitor but he's a uh, real gerard depardieu he is but gerard like did a lot of movies yeah. and then did that and he, he also did it because of tax evasion he did didn't it for tax it because, evasion yeah. <laughs> anyways literally red planet the end <laughs> Yeah, he must be. He must have another job like that. That is not directing. Movies. I would hope that he did something for himself between the years two thousand and twenty fourteen, yeah. where he made a short. Yeah. Um. So yeah, they're gonna go to Mars for the first like manned missions. Yeah. Where they're going to do research and see if there's any form of life. Just see what there is to see. Yeah, they just want to see. So it's uh, Gary Sinise, aka Lieutenant Dan. Yeah. And Tim Robbins and Tim Robbins wife, uh, Connie Nielsen. Yep. And Don Cheadle Mm -hmm. and Armin Tanzarian Armin Muner Mueller Muser. I don't see an Armin anywhere on this cast. What are you talking about? Who's the older like Germany guy? Oh, like the the captain. Yeah. It's a good question. Armin Tamzarian. Gonna have gonna have to go to full cast on this one. Um, looks to be Peter Outerbridge. Oh, really? Uh, he played. It's an old picture. He, he played Sergei Kirov. I think it was. No, Sergei. no, 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 no. No. Sergei is one of the guys who gets killed at the beginning on the planet. Oh, so who's the fucking older guy? I know they're they're very small pictures. Also, oh, uncredited. That's fucking uh, why. Armin Mueller. Armin Mueller Stahl. I told you I That's, sort of knew his name. I am. You know why I know I'm his name? Very impressed because you love. No, uh, look what fucking movie he's in. Shine. No. Eastern Promises. Eastern Promises. Yes. Yeah. Oh, he's like yeah. He's one of the main yeah. dudes in Eastern Promises. Yeah. yeah. 
Yes, yes, yes. Easter promises fucking rules. Guys, do yourselves a favor and watch apparently the only uh, kind of movie that uh, David Cronenberg can direct uh, post 90s. Uh, a crime movie. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, his sci fi uh, sucks, sucks now. <laughs> it's very disappointing. Uh, shout out to uh, Crimes of the Future. Crimes of the Future. Uh, it's, it is two uh, not very good acts, and they forgot the third. <laughs> Why does the guy have ears all over his body? Because shut up. Okay. Um, anyways. So they they go, but like only a few of them are going to the planet. The rest of them are staying in the world space station. Yeah, because you know, of course, in the future, every country's going to work together and build this I massive. Mean, space We literally station. already have the international space station. Yeah, it's yeah, not know, really I different, know, but it's it's not like every country's just going to be like, let's well, come on, everybody, let's go, let's do this together. <laughs> We're all friends now. Yeah. So. <clears throat> Yeah, so... Don- also, uh, Ennio Morricone score. That's awesome. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, it's... I mean... I mean, it's not... It's, it's nothing... It's not his best it's score. It's spectacular. But it's, it's still... fucking Spaghetti Western, It's but. still cool yeah. that he did it. Also, this takes place... Uh, or be, uh, the be- it begins uh, June 9th, 2020. Mm-hmm. We didn't quite get there. Nope. Almost. Do you think we'll get to Mars by June 9th, 2023? You think they'd be three years off? Or do you think they'll be 50 years off? Or like, never. Or never. <laughs> or literally or fucking never. the first time somebody goes, they'll die on the way, and then we'll never and try And then we'll kind of get gun shy and yeah. never do it. Yeah. Just like why we never go back to the moon. It's so weird. Oh, it costs so much money to go back to the moon. No, it's because that- everybody secretly <laughs> dies on the moon. <laughs> it is so weird that they put like 50 people on the moon from like 1969 to 1972. Yeah. A three-year window. And then... That's it. Oh, it costs eleventy billion dollars to get there, and there's definitely not a race of alien <laughs> crab rocks that kill you. That's a uh, that's a Apollo eighteen reference, which is a oh nice bad horror movie that most people haven't seen. Very nice. Uh, where the there are like crabs that are rocks and they kill you. Crabs that are and rocks. they get inside your suit, uh, suck your dick, and then eat your face. <laughs> In that I order. Mean, or sometimes the other order. I would prefer it not to be the other order. I would hate to have my dick sucked after my face is eaten. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's no fun for anything. No you, 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 you can't enjoy that. No. Uh, so Don Cheadle and two, like, a, are they both, I think they're both, yeah, both Russian cosmonauts are the first ones on the planet. Yes. So they kind of set up base camp and then they're doing, like, a bunch of readings of, like, you know, looking for minerals in the earth or in the soil yeah. or whatever. So they scan this one like giant mountain and it's reading metal. And they're like, yeah. well, that doesn't make any sense. It's like crazy. you, you must have hit like an ore, like a deposit or something. Yeah. Let's move closer and scan it again. I can't believe I'm going to drink this whole prime sports well, drink. Because you're a big Logan Paul fan. Maybe it does have electrolytes. It's what, it's what body, it's what plants it's crave. It's what plants crave. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so they, they move closer and they go to scan and when they scan it sort of like sets off this weird chain of events where like the mountain rock starts like shivering and qu- quivering yeah then turns e- emitting a low frequency something yeah and then it sort of turns into this like massive cyclone of of mars dirt yeah that just shoots up in the air and then like becomes alive Kind of like it. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it, it does definitely seem it's to become sen- sentient. Yeah. It's predatory. So uh, they try. They you know they try to escape. It ends up grabbing the two Russian ones and the. I guess there's four of them, right? Yeah, there's four of them. Yeah, because there's the other the other woman or the uh, yeah boo yeah boo <laughs> woman boo liar. Uh, so yeah. Anyways, it, it attacks all of them and then they lose contact. The the space the space. Um, uh, station station yeah loses contact with all of them yes and then they don't really know what to do so yeah. what they do is they decide that they need to they need to see if they can get in contact and they get closer to the planet they get a uh, kind of like a broken communication thing mm-hmm. from don Cheadle, who survived and he's kind of trapped in the space in the on the um, like uh, the the their their little like, they're like landing module. Yeah, 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 the one landing, yeah, the landing module. So uh, and they, it it was um, I don't think we the other three are dead. Yeah, they're gone. They're dead. Yeah, and it it was wild how like they show one guy get like 
oh caught, yeah caught up in the cyclone and, and like, the cyclone's going so fast it rips him apart oh yeah he like shreds he, he spins him. apart yeah it shreds him it's, it's wild it's, a, it's amazing <laughs> he's crazy <laughs> it's so good i don't know yeah. how i glossed over that yeah probably when, because it's late and i've been up since 4 15 this morning <laughs> that's that's very fair um so well, yeah. i mean luckily it's not like you have to get up at 4 15 tomorrow uh, correct <laughs> um so oh. They, they, yeah, so they, they, they see the transmission from him that he's in the module and he's kind of trapped. Yeah. But it's going to take them a while to get there. Like, they can't just go, boop, we're down there. Like, yeah. they have. And, and that transmission was from, like, right after the ship went down. Yes. And they have no idea if he's still if alive. If he's still alive, yeah. Because by the time the transmission got to the station, yeah. And then they prep, uh, transportation stuff to get there. It, it's been a long time. Yeah. Like, like a year and a half a year and a half or almost two years yeah yeah so uh tim robbins guy nielsen gary sinise uh yeah it's just yeah. the four of them or three of them yeah they get in the shuttle to go uh it's weird when gary sinise isn't a villain um i mean lieutenant dan i mean villain. that forrest gump and then nothing uh csi new york he's the bad guy no, he's not. Yep. He's yep. the guy. He's the man. No, but he's 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 also committing the crimes. Ah. And then he's. Uh, how do you think he solves them so well? That's true. Because he did them. That is true. Yep. Uh, talking to all those dock workers who won't stop moving pallets while they're talking to the police about yep. a murder. <laughs> about about a guy that maybe passed through there nine months ago. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember. Uh, oh yeah, I remember that guy. Red hair, light beard. Yeah. <laughs> I, th- I think he went by the name of Chuck. <laughs> It's, it's it's such a stupid show. Me, meanwhile, I, I love it so much. Meanwhile, I meet people every day and forget their name the next day. Gone. Yeah, yeah. gone. Uh, so I don't suppose you watch the uh, the Law and Order uh, three three part crossover. I did not. I, I was, it was pretty good. Was it all of them? Was it Cyber? <laughs> Cyber is out of the mix, unfortunately. Boo. But it was uh, was it my, was that was my favorite one. OG SVU and uh, organized crime, ah. where. Uh, uh, I, w- I was not psyched at first because it looked like uh, a murder issue. Yeah. And I'm like, I mean, murder's fun, but, you know. But where's and, the the yeah. goods? And then the goods came. Yeah. And I was like, hey, you got me back, LNO. Dick Wolf, I wish you were my dad. <laughs> Wolf Dick. <laughs> Wolf Dick Hard. Uh, so, I don't yeah. know if anyone's ever called that kid Wolf Dick Hard. <laughs> I, I'm going <laughs> to. I bet you they have. If not, huge missed opportunity. Yeah. Um, so yeah, during their uh, on the way there. Oh, Jerry O'Connell. Jerry, ah, uh, Jerry O'Connell. Jerry, he's the uh, star of Sliders. Star of Sliders, one of my favorite shows. <laughs> he's the he's the Michael Collins of uh, of the group. He's the he's the one who like stays and yeah 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 he and he's like the tech guy like he's he's yeah. the like scientist who like understands all of the everything all of the tech and all of the uh space new age space age technology yeah uh so while they are on their way oh i said and and, uh sorry and gary sinise's deal is that he and his wife are like were like the foremost mars experts and like they were going to be on the first trip yeah and then his wife dies and he pulled out because he's a pussy because he's pussy yeah He's and uh, sad that he gets to fuck other pussies for the rest of his life. Boo hoo, Gary. And then when they're uh, your dead wife, <laughs> when they're going on the second one with Tim Robbins and Gary Sinise, I'm like, I don't because I I saw this movie a long time ago and I'm like, I don't remember what happens, but I hope and Connie Nielsen is Tim Robbins wife. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't remember what happens, but I hope Tim Robbins wife also dies so that he and Gary Sinise can fuck. <laughs> that would be pretty wild. Hey, in space. Our wives are dead. Uh-huh. Let's fuck in space. There's no monkey pox in space. <laughs> That's true. They can't get you. They can't get you. In space, no one can give you monkey pox. <laughs> the tagline for Alien. Yeah. Um, oh, and there is some really good and cool uh, cinematography in like the rotating space yeah. station. Yeah. De Palma does some cool stuff with that. Yeah, he does. Um, when they're like going from room to room and the the can so it's it's obviously like an interestingly design. It's a room like designed with like. A ninety or almost one hundred and eighty degree curve, and and then the the camera is spinning three sixty mm. to yeah. follow it. Yeah, yeah, it's cool, very very cool. Um, so yeah, while they're on their way, they end up hitting like a uh, a patch. Is that what it's called? 
of uh, mi- micro asteroids yeah. Yeah. that uh, penetrate uh, like the hull. Heavy penetration. So they start losing the their atmosphere. Shit. They start, yeah, they start losing their shit. <laughs> they start losing the atmosphere inside the, the yeah. rocket. And they're like, uh, plug up the hole or you're all going to suffocate. Yeah, so they're like, how much time do we have to plug up the hole? And then they, they plug up the hole. Yeah. Turns out that it's more than just an, like the whole the whole hull has been pun- pu- punctured. Yeah. Uh, so they go outside to repair it, mm-hmm. and then one of the dumbest things in sci-fi, in, in uh, space movies happens, where, uh, somebody, like, loses their grip or gets knocked off of the space station and is floating away at a snail's pace, mm-hmm. and, uh, you can't get to them, because... How would you? <laughs> Correct. <laughs> I mean, it's it's not as bad as, like, let's say, gravity. Gravity probably has the worst one. Gravity's tough. Because yeah. she's holding on to it, George Clooney's holding on to it, mm-hmm. and in space, you weigh nothing. Correct. So all you have to do is go, boop, and they'll <laughs> float back towards you. Yeah. They're not going to keep floating away. They're not. So all you have to do is give a little tug, and George Clooney is back in your life. So- uh, th- and- th- who wouldn't give George Clooney a little tug? Who would not? I know, Come on. right? So Sandy B, I could take your leave. I'd probably let her go. I would, but, I would absolutely let Sandy yeah. B go. Are you but, kidding me? But the Clune? But the Clune, yeah. No, 100%. Come on. Um, so Tim Robbins uh, lo- loses his footing and yeah. slips away. And Connie Nielsen goes to go out after him. And she's got like a, uh, like a retract, like a Batman-esque... Like uh, she, uh, yeah. tractor gun, like <laughs> shoot it, shoot it out, and he'll catch it. Yeah, he's got a, he's got a, yeah, a, a bat grappling, bat hook. grappler. Yeah, and uh, he's just a little bit too far. Yeah. So then she's like, okay, I'm gonna reel it in, and I'm gonna get closer. And use but, like, the jetpacks. But, but meanwhile, he's not really moving that far. No. Or that fast. No. And he's like, don't come after me, because if you come after me, you're not gonna have enough fuel. You're not gonna have to enough jetpack. Jet jet also, they seem to have extremely um, limited jetpack. But also, fuel. P.S. All you need to do is get to him and give yourself a burst back towards the spaceship, and, th- yeah. and you just float yeah, towards. There, the, there's it's this not thing like you go. Boop, and then you're like, yeah. "Oh no, the momentum's gone. We're going you're, back to the planet." You're not going to stop because there's no friction. Yeah, there's this little you uh, weigh zero. I don't know if y'all are familiar with the uh, laws of motion, but an object at rest tends to stay at rest, and an object in motion tends to stay in motion unless acted upon by an outside force. And in fucking space, <laughs> there's no outside force. It's like being in a pool. Yeah. You like you're on a floaty. If somebody pushes you or pulls you, you're going to go you that keep way. Keep moving in that direction. You don't yeah. stop and then go back the opposite way. So yeah, there's going to be gravitational pull from the planet, but you yanking is going to go yeah. back towards and even even if you get close enough to the ship so that Gary Sinise can come out and get you. Yeah, maybe he's got a bat grappler too. Yeah, like it's I hate that stuff in space movies. Yeah. Where like you can't you can't get to someone. Yeah. So Tim Robbins is like arguing with her that he doesn't want her to come. And then he just decides, like, well, if I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die on my own fucking terms, and just takes his helmet, takes off, his helmet off and instantly dies. Yep. And his head just cracks like it's pretty cool. Like, yeah, it's it's <laughs> fucking crazy. So uh, Tim Robbins is dead. Uh, Tim the, Robbins, the, the biggest dead. star in the movie, <laughs> yeah. is now dead. I forgot he just died like that. Yep, me too. Before they got to I, Mars. I, I also forgot how much of this movie is just trying to get to Mars. Me too. A I lot. thought they were on Mars a lot longer. Me too. For sure. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, one one thing that we didn't mention was after the sandstorm. It's revealed. By Darude? But yeah. Okay. After that. After the sandstorm. After the, the nine minute long extended version. <laughs> I got you gotta do the extended version. Uh and it's done. You can it's revealed that like the thing that they were scanning is like a ship. Or like some kind of metal structure that looks like a ship. Or a face. Well, it's a face, but it's Did a- we did we know that yet? Yeah, yeah, after the after the whole thing with Don Cheadle's group yeah. happened and the se- the dust sand settled, it was revealed to be a face. Mm-hmm. So they know that there's something on the planet, but they don't know Don Cheadle's alive. So eventually, yeah. they end up getting to the planet and they go to check out the like the landing module, and they find that there's sort of like plant growth everywhere, mm-hmm. and like things have been moved around. And when they were scanning the planet, they realized that there had been graves dug and buried yeah. like near the 
uh, the module. So they were like, well, obviously something's happened. And it's actually funny that if you look at that, there are a lot of similarities in this movie as there are in The Martian. Yeah. Of like... Yeah, like, Don Cheadle is sort of the Martian for a bit of the movie. Yeah, because yeah. he's there, he's, do, like, build, you know, growing plants to feed himself. He, like... He's definitely eating his own shit. He's eating 100% <laughs> eating his own shit. There's no question. Day <laughs> not, one. Not a question in my day mind. Day one, he's eating his own shit. Yeah. So, yeah, so he, uh, they, they, they land, and they go to check it out, and while Gary Sinise is looking for him, uh, he sneaks up behind him to, uh, with a... With an axe. It's Crazy Don. And crazy Don with a beard. <laughs> yep. And he doesn't believe that he's real. He thinks he's he's not. Nah, he thinks he's a mirage or a hallucination. And then he kind of, re- you know, convinces them that he's there. Like, it's actually him. And then he kind of has, like, a little bit of a breakdown. Yeah. And then... And I, I like... That was actually kind of a fun scene. Like, after they they, they calm him down and, and he goes off and they're still there talking. And, um, and what I can't remember who the voice of, re- I, th- I think Gary might've been the voice of reason. So like O'Connell said like, oh, he's crazy. We got to watch him. Uh, he's a, uh, he's gone, he's gone Mars mad. And, and she's like, oh yeah, we got it. We got to get him medication. We, we should give him like a, a psyche valve. And Gary's like, maybe he's a guy who's been stranded on fucking <laughs> Mars for 18 months. Give him a break. Yeah, maybe, maybe this is the first human yeah. interaction he's had. Maybe he never a thought he'd a see a human again. Yeah, let alone his friends. Yeah. Yeah. And and everyone's like, oh, yeah, I yeah, guess you're, you're right. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, I think, I think you're right. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, so then Don kind of gives them some more information about, like, what happened and, you yeah. know, the only body he found was of the one that didn't get sucked up in the... The vortex and... Yeah, but he felt bad only doing one grave. Yeah. So, so he, yeah, there's one real grave, two pretend graves. Yeah. So then he, then they play like a three-card money. He's like, yeah. hey, uh, this one, this tw- one, this 20 one. gets hey, you 40, 40 yeah, gets you 80. Yeah. Find the lucky lady. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, so, uh, yeah, so then they decided like, well, I mean, they're, they're here and Dawn's alive, so we better go investigate the thing. <laughs> Yeah. Like, instead of just leaving and taking him off the planet, they're like, well, no, we're here. We should probably go see that crazy thing. <laughs> that crazy metal thing. Yeah. Um. So they approach, and uh, as they approach, just, like, a door opens. Yeah. And they're like, oh, shit. So like, oh, no, well, well, they, so the, the, uh, it's a, sec- it has a security system. Oh, yes. Yeah. And so the, when the, the first crew got d- just mutilated, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's because they were, uh, they were radar scanning it. And they with the scanning it the wrong way. Yeah. So then they uh, they analyzed the the radio signal that it was giving out. Right. And then and then I I love it when uh, just like I love in movies when pressing random buttons on a keyboard makes very specific things uh, happen. Beep, like beep, oh beep, beep, oh let me uh, let me reinter let me reinterpolate this uh, this repeating radio signal as a three D object. Uh, Q E seven, <laughs> and beep, hey, it doesn't. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. So, and they figured it was like a communication. Oh, it was like yeah. the the human genome. Yeah, uh, missing a piece. A piece. And so, like they fired back the code for that piece at it, and the door opened. Yeah, that was the deal. Yeah, yeah. That's the beat to Funk Town. <laughs> beep, 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 boop, 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 boop. By Lips Inc. One of those, Not lip sync. One of those puns I didn't get for a very long time. Lips, a very long time. I'm talking like yesterday, Monday. <laughs> You're talking about right this second. I'm, no, I, I live I, on air. <laughs> no, you got the pun. Lips I, I knew, ink. but I was at least forty. I was in my early to mid forties when I figured wow. that out. Wow, it was a uh, That's sad, a very sad. Same, uh, much the same as uh, Shanghai Noon for me. Those are my <laughs> those are my two bad ones. Look, I'm a pun guy. Most of them I get. Sometimes you're a punner. I'm a punner. Sometimes they're uh, they're 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 too clever for me, <laughs> and I I can't see the forest for the trees. Sometimes they lock your brain up. Yeah. So uh, so those are the two. Lip, Lips Inc. and Shanghai Noon are. Uh, are puns I encountered many, many times before understanding they were puns. I'm just like, that's a weird name for a band. What's the point of that movie name? Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um, yeah, so they get in, 
And uh, when they get in, Gary Sinise just sort of like takes the bold step of like, huh, it feels like Earth, like it's pressurized in here. I was going to take my suit off. Very bold. <laughs> and then they're like, yeah. what the fuck like, are you doing? Oh, like, oh, oh it's okay. Fine. Well, I guess we'll all, I guess take we'll all just do off. it. <laughs> yeah. So they all take their helmets off and they are exploring like what is essentially just a white room. Yeah. Like with light. And then at the far side is sort of like a inset, like kind of a small room or... Yeah. Like almost like you would see it a planetarium. Yeah, a planetarium. Do you have a bone disease which prevents you from pronouncing I the do. T in planetarium? Planetarium. Uh so they go into this like sort of black carved out area and it's got like And then a, it's 3D PowerPoint time. Yes, it is. <laughs> so it's got a projection of like the solar system. Yeah. And then just like an alien appears. <laughs> like, <laughs> yep. it, it sort of, like, morphs into form. Yeah, it, yeah, it materializes. And, like, walks towards them, and then you sort of get, like, the story that... Yeah. So, Mars used to look like Earth. Earth. Yeah, it and had then, water and green, and, like, yeah. it was a healthy place to live. And then a big old thing just fucking wrecked it. <laughs> yeah. Just smashed it good. Smashed the shit out of it. So, all these ships left... Yeah. ...and went off to colonize... Away. Where of. Yeah. And it sort of showed, like, where they went in the Milky Way, like, as they shot away. Yeah. But one ship stayed behind. Yeah. And in- did, did one go to Earth? Or is that done differently? I don't remember seeing one go to Earth. I think- At that, that point. Okay. Isn't that after? It might be after. No, because I, I guess it is, because one- Yeah. The one I- stayed on Mars, so one, obviously, that was at the same- I guess it was the same yeah, time. Yeah, I think so. Because you don't see it again, again no. after that. Okay, yeah. yeah. So, they go they go to Earth to colonize Earth. And then the rest of them go to all these other planets in the solar system, in the Milky Way, yeah. to do the same thing. And the one stayed on Mars to just sort of, like, wait for... Just hang out. Or other- just to wait for, like, some other form of intelligent life to discover yeah. it. Mm-hmm. Or to maybe to monitor the life on Earth and wait for them to make contact. Kind of, yeah. Yeah. So that, that's sort of what you see from the visuals. And yeah. then the alien creature like sentient being whatever it is um i guess communicates that it's sort of sort of like yeah it doesn't say anything it's just like gives you the impression that like it's a it's it's there's no harm anything like yeah it it's there to continue on life or whatever And then they're like, and the the PowerPoint continued, and they were, and I and I think Gary just played like exposition man, and yeah. like made a lot of like leaps in logic based on what was being presented, but uh, but in the in terms of the movie, it's right. Um, and he's like, there is this explosion of life, like. I don't know, like uh, 700 million years ago or whatever, yeah. and no one can really explain why. It's like, hey, this is why Mar- Mars seeded earth with with life mars basically. gave us its seed it's dirty seed mars attacks mars attacks yeah mars needs also mars needs moms oh i'd attack a mars mom <laughs> with my dick so yeah so the uh the powerpoint concludes i guess yeah and uh and the alien's like hey what do you think about that yeah and then the alien fucks off, right? Uh, the yeah, the alien disappears. Yeah, and then the ship starts. There's like a, a series of like there's a, ca- a countdown, a countdown rings yeah. that yeah. appear on the floor, and it's sort of like giving a countdown. And then that's when Gary Sneeze goes, "It's a ship." Yeah. Ah, it's a ship. It's a fucking ship. And so, uh, Kai Nielsen and Don Cheadle are like, well, we should get out of here. We should here. go. And so they all start c- sort of like going towards where they entered. And Don, and, um, Gary Sneese is just sort of like, I'm going to go with it. I'm going to, I'm going to hang I'm, here. I want to, I got nothing left on earth. Yeah. I want to see. I can't fuck my wife. I can't fuck, fuck Tim, Tim Robbins. Robbins. <laughs> I got nothing waiting for me. What's even the point? Yeah. I'm going to go to space. I'm going to go more to space. Yeah. I'm going to see what's out there. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, like Kai Nielsen and Don Cheadle get out. And then Gary Sinise gives them the old wave goodbye from the window. Yep. And uh, then the, uh, Abraham Lincoln comes over, puts his arm around him and waves. Around there's the, a gator. There's a gator that got and, chubs. Yeah, and, and they all just like, <laughs> I'm happy. Um, yeah. It, yeah. It, it's a good. T- I, I like I, I sort of wanted to cry. I didn't get there. Yeah, it's emotional. But, for sure. But yeah, I, I thought it, I considered it. Yeah. I'm like, hmm, should I cry? No, no. But, but when I, we talked when we talked about this, we talked about the fact that we both like 
space adventure, like space exploration movies. Where, where aliens aren't where the bad aliens guys. aliens aren't the bad guys. And, and there's not like, you know, some kind of big mystery, like yeah. presence or evil presence or something. Yeah. It's just like straight up like, because like you get that in... Um, in Prometheus, where like you don't know anything, but then you're like, oh, the aliens are actually the bad guys and they were coming to kill us. Yeah. Whereas like this is just like, no, we created you. We wanted to see what you would become. Yeah. Do you want to go see the rest you of the universe? Go, yeah, you want to go see your dad? Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. But like, you want to go to another alternate universe where your wife's not dead? Ooh. But yeah, like Mission to Mars, Contact, Arrival, yeah. Close Encounters. Close Encounters, yeah. 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 Like, yeah, love them. Yeah, they're love all them. great. Yeah, yeah. Those, are, those are some of the best kinds of science fiction movies is where it's not just like, oh, no, Independence Day. Yeah. Oh, no, Mars Attacks. If, you know, like where... But Mars Attacks is sick. <laughs> I mean, I also like Independence Day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Like, it's pretty maybe, good. Maybe we're, maybe we're wrong. <laughs> maybe we're wrong. But like... Mar- also, Mars Attacks has the most insane cast of all time. <laughs> Jack Nicholson doing two different characters. <laughs> the president and the general. That's so ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's just uh, Doctor Strange Love, but yeah, yeah, uh, but yeah. I mean, th- I'm glad that we. I, I had. I honestly hadn't seen this movie since probably like 2002 or three, maybe. Same for me. Yeah. yeah if so. it came out 2000, I would not have seen it since early 2000s. Yeah. And uh, so now, so the, the question is: Can we find another an actor from this movie? Yeah. Who is in? Another Brian, Brian De, Palma De Palma movie. <laughs> so we can just do six Brian De Palma movies <laughs> in a row. And just like backdoor, just this becomes the Brian De Palma show. Yeah. Or what do you say? We take young Timothy Robbins. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Susan Sarandon. Mr. Sarandon. <laughs> big old titties. She's got big ones. Look them up. And you know what? Look up Susan Sarandon's titties. You'll be glad you did. Uh, what say we do the Hudsucker Proxy by Joel and Ethan, not Eaton of uh, Holmes and Watson fame. I like Eaton, though. Joel and Ethan Cohen. Boo. And then, then Boo we- Boo Eaton. Boo Eaton. <laughs> then we get to do two Cohen Brothers movies. What do you think about that? I mean, they're fine, I guess. I guess. A couple of, a couple of good Jews you described them as? I did, I did, in fact, <laughs> say they were good Jews. Hey, you, which you're allowed to say, because- you had um, three bagels today. <laughs> uh, also, I'm a Jew from the mountains of Tibet. So. Of course. <laughs> Although I believe I said Upper Mongolia before, which whatever, it's all the same. Couple. It's of, mountains where no one lives. A couple of Jew cats. <laughs> maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll briefly change the name of the podcast and see what uh, that no. does to the listenership. I don't I'm, think I'm, that's I'm a good idea. I'm not going to do that. I don't don't think worry. That's a good idea. I haven't completely lost my mind yet. So I'm glad in our. Uh, 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 Cough, cough, second podcast recorded today. Uh, <laughs> kept it a tight two hours and 41 minutes. Oh <laughs> we are the worst. Uh, so Did we record for six hours? <laughs> Let's never do this again. In fact, uh, ladies and gentlemen, last podcast ever. Are you ever. announcing your retirement? Last podcast ever. We are not doing another podcast. <laughs> This will uh, th- this will keep you uh, keep you busy for a while, um, but uh, yeah, uh, that was that was the show. Uh, we should go now. This is much longer than we intended. Uh, good night. <laughs> <laughs>